What up, YouTube? Broke Farm is so good. Garden up back for another Super Sunday live. Yes, what else in the world would you want to be if you were a gardener? This is the place for you. This place has been built and, and, and legitimized and molded and everything to be a gardener's dream. Where in the comments, it's the greatest gardeners on the world. On the world, it, you know what I'm saying? In the world. Close enough. Yeah. Close enough. <laughs> now, you know, I like to start off with, with a little sub inspirational or maybe that ain't inspiration. Maybe it's a good word I heard or something I was thinking about. And uh, patience is a virtue. And I know people say that all the time, but nobody has patience. Not even me. I'm, I'm learning patience. Because if I plant a seed, you better believe that next day I'm out there to see did it germinate. Now I know somebody feel where I'm coming from. Yes, sir. But I'm working on patience. If you I'm gonna put it to you like this. If every day of your life you save one dollar, you are almost be a millionaire. But it takes patience and it and it comes at a starting point. Yeah. Patience, patience, patience. Patience rules the world. People with money have patience enough to put their money in the stock market and wait. Yes, People with patience treat their employees different because they, they want to see the long term plan. Everybody looking for the short term plan. Everybody looking for the, the quick fruit off the fruit tree. Everybody looking for the quick composting method. Everything takes patience in the garden and in life. What what you say, Kevin? Did, did I say something wrong, big guy? No, you didn't. You hit it. You hit it right on the head. Because as gardeners, we are we have to specialize in patience. Yes. Because you got to think about it. We drop a seed something into some some dirt some soil i don't want to upset nobody but some soil and we just wait for that thing to produce the fruits the veggies or whatever it's going to do and it's going to take months to get it but we anticipate it coming you know and the same thing when we buy these little sticks from these you know foodforce.com and all foodforce nursery.com oh, yeah. oh, like that you know what I'm saying? We buy these little, <laughs> we buy these little bad roots. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. When we buy them, we have to wait <laughs> and, and, and know what's to come. All right. So yeah, we patient, man. We already patient. All right. Oh, <laughs> I had to drop it in there. I had to drop it in there, bro. <laughs> oh man. Hey, now you know me, Kevin. If you can't keep it a book over here, you can't keep it a book nowhere. Right. Right, no doubt. I ain't, I ain't no faking the funk over here. <laughs> For real, but yeah, we specialize in patience, man. Specialize. Yes, so, yes we it, Patience and faith as a gardener. Come, yeah. If you plant this little bit of seed and you have faith that it's going to feed you, that's a lot of faith, man. Yes. That's a lot of faith. So, okay, let's get in here and speak to some of these uh, great people that came to hang with us this Sunday. Yes, sir. Let's do it. Broke Farmer in the building. What's up, Broke Farmer? Glad to have you in here. Broke Farmer. Hey, I don't know if you know this, Broke Farmer. I'm a big fan. I got all your merch. I watch, I watch every last one of your videos you ever made. I watch every live and every short you ever made. Hey, man, you my favorite, Broke Farmer. You my favorite. Man, you <laughs> Passionately intrigued artists in the building. What's at, up? You got, you got the glamour picture of that. I yes, you do. Well, who, your, who your photographer? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> you got a good photographer. I get it. Yeah, <laughs> the analytic gardener in the building. Say, so, hey, bro, gonna stay in the street. I don't get busy. Forget to tune in. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Carol, the girl manager in the building. Glad to have you in here, Carol. Miss Kia Parks, aka Chairman of the Board of the SSS. If yes. you don't know what it is, that is the Secret Seed Society. 
She is the chairman of the board. Don't no seed go through the community without Miss Kill Park putting a stamp of approval on it. So if, if you if you trying to uh get an SSS, holler at Miss Kill Park. She's gonna take care of you. More like squad. Christine's backyard garden in the building. Always awesome, Angela in the building. Triple A in the building. Yeah. Sonia Siegler in the building. Just one Ellen. That's Just one man. Ellen. Just one. If it was two, it would throw off the whole space time continuum. It That's can it. only be one. Have you seen the Jet Li movie? Just the one. I think it was the, the one. one. Yeah, it was the one. That was it a can good only movie. be one. Hey, boy, that was a good movie. It was, was a real good movie. It was. Really yeah, it was. It's Arletha in the building. Glad to have you in. Say miracles and blessings to you all from Arizona. Arizona. Yeah. That's it's zone like nine. zone nine or something. Zone nine eight. I want to say the ten up there, dude. Zone ten high. might be ten. Kato Family Farm in the building. What's up, bro? So good at internet cousin. What G Mom at cousins? JK Gardner in the building. What's up, JK? F Smith Welch in the building. What's up, bro? Cameron and Gardner cousin. What up? What up? DMB Gardner in the building. What's up, DMB? What's going on? Hooga Homestead in the building. What's up, Hooga? Gina versus Gina, aka Gina, Gina, aka GG in the building. Yeah. Texas La La in the building. What's up, Lala? Teagues. What up, Teagues? What up, Teagues? Psalm 146 Home and Garden in the building. I just got finished watching your uh, mail call video. You got some real cool stuff from some cool people. Odom's Homestead in the building. What up, Breeze Odom? Omega. I feel like that's how you pronounce yeah, Breathe. you got to put some oh, yeah. on that. <laughs> you got to put some ump on that. You got to say it kind of like a Megatron from Transformers, the right. original Transformers. That's, so, that's yeah. how it's J three GS Farms in the building. Subject. Just Q in the building. Good afternoon, broken. So good, patience is still broken. Come Big on now. Facts, yes. no women. Kim stays her garden life in the building. CC's Texas Garden in the building. What up, CC? What's going on? Why did the chat don't jump on me already? Tampa Creek Homestead in the building. What's up, Tampa Creek? Glad to have you in here. Oh, she said it's on nine. I was wrong. You were okay. right, Kelly. Yeah, it's on nine. nine. Miss Sharon in the building. What's up, Broke Farmer? So good. Garden Mars and chat. What up? On so blessed in the building. DJ Run, the mechanic. GA in the building. I don't, yeah. I don't, don't tell me where you're from, DJ Run. I know you're from Louisiana. But it ain't where you're from, it's where you reside at. You are not Georgian. Georgian. You done took your. <laughs> GT Junior grows in Alaska. Another Georgian. It ain't, it ain't where you at. It's in Alaska. You Come on now. <laughs> What's up, GT? Georgian. Let me see. Nikisha Scott in the building. What's up, Nikisha? Glad to have you in here. What? I don't know. How far am I behind? They got time stamps on. Oh, I'm only two minutes behind. I'm on two minutes behind. I'm finna catch up. That's my art in the building. Glad to have you in here. Urban backyard container garden in the building. Let's see. Oh, I'm at the bottom. Well, let's rock. First off, before we get into it, 47 people already in here. Let's hit that like button, y'all. Let's, let's start out with the like button. God. Yeah, let's get Thank that. Right. Oh. And, and first off, before we get too deep, if y'all don't know who my co-host is right here, uh, Mr. Calvin, can you uh, tell the people who y'all are, who you hey. is? Yeah, hey, I'm just a brother growing food in his backyard in Fort Worth, Texas, trying to make it happen out here in all this heat and it's already hot, y'all. It's 86 degrees today, bro. 86. What? Yes. Look at Lord. It's gonna be 90 tomorrow. Come on, somebody. But oh. <laughs> that's what I do, y'all. Just growing, growing little groceries back here in my backyard and trying to get it in where I can fit it in as much as I possibly can. And I got my boy always with me. 
He always have a beat. Oh, the Charlie Mack. Right. Charlie oh, Mack is always somewhere close by, y'all. But uh, that's that's just what we do. We out here growing food and, and making you laugh at the same time. So get ready. If you come over here, get ready. <laughs> so like I said. Okay, I'm looking at Gina sideline hating over him. She's sideline. What, what, what Gina say, man? Come on, 86 degrees side. Hey. I felt like that's how she typed it. It's hot. Y'all, it's hot. Gina, it's hot. Man, 90 tomorrow? 90? I think it's going to be. It say, look, I'm going to tell you, first off, I believe the weather, man. I'm watching Lee, uh, live early. Talking about that. According to the weather, man, it's supposed to be 68 degrees. Bro, I'm out there in short sleeve sweating. It had to be 73. Had yeah. to be 73 degrees. But I got a lot of work doing done. I got some grafting done, man. Oh right. man. Come on now. And then See, that's what I, I gotta do now. I gotta start grafting too. I don't know. I, I don't know if it's gonna work though. I don't know if my graft gonna take. I'm gonna uh I got my fingers crossed, man. I'm gonna do a whole bunch of things. Shots out the GT Junior Grows in Alaska. Uh, my next video, if it don't suck, if I don't think it suck, and I put it out, I'm going to be grafting, and I'm going to be uh, propagating with the cloning balls, Paul. Hello, Paul. <laughs> okay. I'm going to be propagating. So, video <laughs> coming soon. Had to throw that little promo in there. Now, let's get on with the video. Yeah. All right. The name of this uh, live is What to Plant in Spring for Spring, a Complete Guy. I'm going to give you everything. Bro, Kevin, I'm getting yeah. everything. everything. You never got to ask what to plan again. What's up, Unbiased LLC in the building? Glad to have you in here. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I'm 9B. My land is 6B. Nothing growing yet. Oh, you got land in another state. Okay. Okay, well, Ooh. you say you ain't growing nothing yet. This is a perfect lie. Yeah. It's a perfect lie. Now, first thing is, Kevin, I can't stress this enough. God darn it. If y'all don't ever listen to nothing else I say, please listen to this. Eat things, I mean, grow things you regularly eat. Couldn't agree more. Things that you regularly eat and buy at the grocery store. Things that you cook with. Couldn't agree more. So huh? I couldn't agree more. Cause that's now I am gonna try since you know Tigzy sent me some. Is I'm gonna pl I'm gonna plant some um Jamaican sorrel. I never had that. You know, I'm interested. I'm pl so, I planted some of that. I got I yeah. got one, two, I got two going, and I planted four more. Just, so you just like it? I want to make tea out of it. That's what I want to do. It looks good. This looks delicious. So, and it looks fun to grow. I ain't gonna lie. It looks fun right. to grow. It's a pretty little plant, you know. Yeah, it's kind of pretty. I don't like to grow things from pretty, but it's kind of pretty. I gotta say yeah. that. Yeah, so pretty. Went and walk with Christina in the field. I'm glad to have you in here, Christina. What's up, PIA? Homestead or Rachel in the field. Miss Sharon said 70 uh, degrees tomorrow. Something is going in some soil tomorrow. Wait, yeah. I already put it in now. I did I already, too. And you know what, Kevin? What's up? <laughs> I had an avocado tree about this big. I thought it was dead, man. I cut it back two years in a row. I pulled it out of the pot because I was going to use the soil for some else for some cutting. Man, how about it got roots on it? This got done big. Good. Gracious, what? I said, this joke don't want to be in a pot. I just put it in yeah. the ground. We're going to see what it's going to do. And I'm gonna try to, it gonna... If it grow back, I'm going to try to protect it. But okay. I'm just interested to see because I got another avocado. Uh, I think it's like five foot in the greenhouse. So I'm yeah. interested to see what it'll do. And I really don't care if it grow or not because I thought it was dead. And you know what? I, I'm rambling on. My bad. Hey, but anyway, no, that makes that makes sense. We try, right? That's all we do in the garden. I got yeah, prime example. Um, I'm gonna get off topic a little bit, y'all, if, if you don't mind. But sometimes things don't want to grow how we want to grow it. And I give you a good example. I had a Pakistan mulberry 
that I had in the uh, the greenhouse last year, and it died all the way back. Mm -hmm. And I was like, man, this thing don't want to live. So I put it in the ground. Now, it's only supposed to be cold hearted down, I think, 30 degrees of Pakistan mulberry, something like that. But I put it in the ground, and it made it all the way through the one. So I'm like, well, now I know mulberries don't want to be in a pot. Right. How I come up with that? Now, is that fact for everybody's situation? Oh, hell no. But to me, I never put a mulberry in a uh, container again. And you just stuck it out in the ground. Have your airplane going over. Oh, good lord. <laughs> oh, it really was an airplane? I was playing. That's what really what it was? I am good. Wow. I was playing. I thought you did. <laughs> nah, he going now. I still hear him back there a little bit, but he must have been flying pretty low. I didn't know what it was. I was messing with it. I thought it was the internet server. Nah. But uh, let me see. Let me. Uh, exactly. So is a beautiful plant. Sweet yeah. Storm in the building. What's up, Sweet Storm? Glad to have you in here. Uh, oh no, she said she got land in northern Arizona. Six zone six is in Arizona, also zone nine in Arizona. I guess wow. so because that desert get kind of cold, man. Facts, all right, yeah, yeah that do make sense. Cold, oh. uh. The analytic garden said, crying over here. My sore is steeping for some tea at this very moment. Wow. What? Just rub it in. Right. Wow. <laughs> okay. That's what we're doing today. We, we paid it on a Sunday. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Gibson LR1 in the field. I said, purple broccoli is pretty, but does it taste good? I've never had purple broccoli. Yeah, never had it. It don't seem like my thing. I tried uh, it. Oh, broccoli. You've tried it? I said I would try it. I haven't had it before, but I would try it because I just love broccoli. I've never tried it. Just, I, I just like regular green broccoli so much. Yeah. MTGV LLC in the building. Uh aka make this go viral in the building. Let me see. I missed uh there you go. Veggie farming in the building. What's up, veggie farming? What's going on, Veggie Farm? What's up, by you, sugar? sugar? What's up, sugar? Let me see. Did I speak to everybody? Uh, golly. How do I get that far behind? Sandra got Sandra G in the building. Say, first time listen. So, Cam, can I pull my soapbox out? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, I'm going to sit there. Pull Appreciate that, Cam. Now, if you don't know, I am Broke Farmer, and this is So Good Gardening right here, and we are part of this uh, growing everyday gardening community. Now, if you go up and down the comments in this live or in a live, you have some of the greatest gardeners in the world, and we come together, and we have these lives. Not that me and Calvin teaching anything or know more than anybody else know. We start conversations. We are conversation starters, and then through the comments, we talk about plant type thing. And if you go to anybody in these comments and you ask a question in the chat, they're going to answer your question because we all gardeners looking to help each other out and grow better food. Food. So if you need anything, you can email me. You can email uh, Calvin. Uh, you can email a lot of people in this garden community. And we're going to work together for a better garden for me and you. Uh, <laughs> uh, DMV Garner, uh, talking to you, Kevin. Oh, let's see. Hold on. I think I'm gonna read his own. You want to read it to you? I see it. Dwarf bananas, dwarf bananas, of peach. Hey, I'm gonna be honest on the dwarf bananas, of peach, y'all. And I gotta stop buying fruit trees. Oh, Lord, hold up, <laughs> bro, bro, hold on, hold on. Man. <laughs> I, I want one. Everybody, I want two of them actually. But 
y'all, I'm out of space. Not outer space. I'm out of space. I still got, I got trees inside my home I got to bring outside right now. So, I'm, okay, I got a situation. All right. So, last year, my pomegranate, my wonderful pomegranate, right, act like it wanted to die. Like it wanted to die all the way back and not come back. This year, it's ready to show off. And I already bought its replacement. It's over here in the pot behind me. It's yeah, an angel yeah. red pomegranate that was going to go in this spot. So now I got two pomegranates, and I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I'm going to have to put this one in a big pot for its life and keep moving it around because I can't put it in the ground. So, I, what, what? Kale, first of all, uh, you're talking to somebody with six pomegranates, Kale. Uh, what is yeah, two you pomegranates? Got you got, got the room. I ain't got but an acre. Yeah, but, <laughs> bro. <laughs> I, know, I need I, I, I need everybody in the comments to put boo, just boo <laughs> in the comments. I'm just saying. Just take man. a moment and type boo <laughs> in the comments. Okay, okay, okay. I would have to get creative, y'all, because I can put it out here in a pot. But man, eventually I got to be able to walk around, you know, and have yeah. activities. You got to have room for activities. Y'all seen the movie? Yeah. I'll put a, get a bunch of them, put them in a the pot. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a GoFundMe going, so we can get you at least a half an acre. What you want now? You got a quarter now? No, man, no. I, I don't have, I don't have a tenth of an acre. We gotta okay? get you a half. We gotta get you I a half. That's I don't have ten percent of an acre. All right. Now if, I'm on about point zero eight. Is what I got now, right now. If we get you a half an acre, are you gonna put chickens on out there? I'm gonna put chickens, goats. I might get me a horse and gallop around it. You hear me? Hear we're, <laughs> gonna, we're gonna start the GoFundMe account for Kevin. Cause we don't, we don't, we're gonna get you a bigger spot. Cause Kevin, we are disappointed every time you pass by awesome fruit trees and say I ain't got nowhere to put them. I, I know. Am, I die a little bit on the inside <laughs> when you pass on that almond tree. Don't you know? And say you ain't got nowhere to put it. Jesus God. Christ! You know I wanted that almond. No. Kev, I've never seen that. I've never seen that, Kev. Oh, I'm I'm a little disappointed, big guy. I don't know how to say it. I'm a little disappointed, big guy. All right, I'm I'm gonna find space, man. I'm gonna find a way to do something else. I might have to sell my grill. I don't need this grill. I could, Let it go. but I can put a, I can put two or three fruit trees in pots right there. Now you, you like it. that? Now you like it. Now you so like yes, it. I'm still I'm still looking for a bonanza peach tree. Yes, I am. <laughs> to answer the question. Yes, all right. Hey, that's, that's what we like to hear. That's what we like all to right. hear. <laughs> <laughs> Cutting L Wonder A in the building. What's up, Cutting? Yes, it's a mess garden in the building. Yeah. Uh, post your email, please. Um, of course I will. It's um, uh, it's also in my about page, and I. Put my email in every video. Yeah. Feel free to email me. It's cool. No big whoop. Uh, Urban Garden Chronicles in the building. That's my dog. Yeah. Y'all don't like Urban. That's on y'all. That's my dog. I was in there. I was in her live yesterday. Yeah, yesterday morning. I was in the bushes though, Urban. I was in the bushes, but I was in there. You were dropping some knowledge on that thing. Well, it's like, gosh. Right, Urban always dropping knowledge. Whether always. you want to hear it or not. Some people don't want to hear it now. Hey, I'm she sorry. She get it to you. She get yeah, it to you raw. You know what, Paul? My, 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 my. <laughs> I, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Uh -huh. I'm tripping. Sandra, yeah. uh, G say I've started my seeds inside. It's still freezing here. Go for it. Mm. Hey, start them inside. Sorry, yeah. Uh, see, see. Everybody be looking at that backyard. See, Yo, I see plenty of space back there. <laughs> All you need gotta, is six no, feet. No, man. Y'all, hey, now listen, you got to also have resale value now. All right? Come on, man. I can't take it all up. What if somebody that moves in here, whenever I sell it years and years from now, ain't a gardener, and just get out here and just get to chopping down trees? It's going to piss me off. You got to dig them up and take them with you. Man, they're going to be 15, 20 feet tall by the end. It don't melt. Dig them up still. 
<laughs> you think if I leave, I'm leaving my baby back there? She man, <laughs> gotta start over. You now. <laughs> <laughs> I, first off, I ain't going nowhere. I told my wife to bury me in the backyard. It's just what it is. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> to bury you in the backyard? <laughs> she was talking about the resale value of our house. And I said, man, you know, this house, it, it fit me. You know how a house just fit you? Yeah, oh, I do. Yeah, yeah that's what fits I got a man cave the size of an apartment that I had when I was younger. I, hey, I'm with you. To put it this way, my closet is bigger than my bedroom was as a kid. Wow. That's a, that's saying a lot. I, dude, I, I know what you I know how you feel. Trust me. I, I ain't going nowhere. I said if you want to go, you can go now. I cut the grass for you, but I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> right. Caliborn Beauty in the film said, Miss y'all, my first time making a live in a while. I hope everyone has been well. We're doing better now because you here. No doubt. Kimberly Ingalls in the building. What's up, Kimberly? What's up, Kimberly? Oh, man. Uh-oh. The boo birds are out. Uh-oh. All right. Oh. See, hey, I can walk you around and show you. I don't have much space out here. You know, it's... Uh, <laughs> hold on. When we finish this, yeah, you don't made a promise now. You don't told the people you're going to walk around. <laughs> now, now we finna start kind of six feet in between all trees. <laughs> you got to give them room to grow. Give them room to grow. <laughs> Six foot improvement. Uh, Gibson say, I just bought a bonanza tree today. Tree buying is getting out of hand. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. No. Where'd you buy it from? Well, where'd you get that thing? Online or was it in a store? Tell me if, if Home Depot or Lowe's got it because maybe mine will have one too. Oh, come on, y'all. It's, it's nothing but love. <laughs> hey, if y'all go boo anybody, where'd Gina at? Boo Gina. She got just as much space as I got. All right. And she over there looking at other land. No. <laughs> hey, Breeze Omega said, give him that pomegranate, Kevin. Oh, you, you, you want to see it? I can't. You want to see it? I can't give it away. It's too pretty, man. That thing is Look, beautiful. Everybody booing. Right. They put boo emojis in there. I've never seen man. boo emojis. Wow. Come on, y'all. <laughs> Where's the love? Miss Israel in the film said, my first time listening, enjoying the stream. I'm a patio gardener. There's a lot of patio gardeners out there. Um, just look through the uh, chat. Um, usually TLC is in here. Yeah. And uh, Growing with Hudson, all those are uh, patio gardeners. Um, I can't think of another one right off the bat. But well, it's a lot of uh, patio gardeners in here. G Mama grows in a lot of containers too, but I don't know if she's G Mama there. grows. My bad, G Mama. Yeah. Boo, the boo bird is still alive. <laughs> and Veggie Farm say, I feel your pain. Veggie Farm, you got a lot of space. You got more space See, than cow on Veggie Farm. Hey, we got about the same space. And Veggie Farm, and, hey, did you see that that uh, short she had with the sweet potato juice? Mm -mm. Good Lord, dog. I'm here to tell you right now, I, I ain't ever had sweet potato juice in my life. But I want some now. That looked amazing, man. I'm gonna have to make I, some. Start to go for them. <laughs> start to go for them. For real. Five acres is huge now. Five acres too much for Calvin. Calvin getting up in age now. Yeah, I, I got you. See this great. Come on now. We, <laughs> I don't know if he can keep up with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we the same age. Don't let the great fool you. But, <laughs> but no, I, was, I got great too. I know. Now, I know. I know. Mine just I'm came like, Yeah. <laughs> but I would try. It. I would try. Five acres, I'd have to give it a shot. Say the grill. Yeah. Woo. I, I, I look. See, Kevin, it wasn't just me. You not getting that tree hurt me too, Kevin. Oh, my Everybody, gosh, hey. everybody uh, saw it. Everybody saw that tree. And they were like, oh, my God. I've never seen that tree. And then you showed a picture. That tree was beautiful. Yes, it was. Beautiful. <laughs> I think your wife said it looked good. She did. Oh. I, I to... I'm telling you, a little, a little, little bit of me. Uh, <laughs> I dropped a tip for that one, Cam. Man, y'all make me feel bad. I gotta tell you, that's messed up, man. Ooh, that's a good idea, Cam. What about rent some land for some of your fruit trip, food for us? You know they do the uh, allotment. I know that's what uh, I saw Gina doing, and I don't know if that's around. I think they fired that, that engine back up, man. 
I, I, uh, I haven't seen that video. I got to go over there and watch. I, I passed by it and I was like, oh, that's a good video. And I got this. Uh, I'm biased. I say something. Now, Paul. Now, Paul. Like, no. No, I'm biased. I ain't going to fall for that one. Uh oh. All right, okay. I can't I can't say that one either. <laughs> Lemon's back like garden in the building. Oh god. Put them all you. in pots. Yeah. Move the pots around. We got we got an idea for you now, Kevin. Put them in pots. I, okay. I will put them in some like whiskey barrels or something like that. If I did Cameron something. Brown in the building. What's up, Karen? She is sunshine. On yeah. a cloudy day. There's sunshine behind me right here. Come on, sunshine. I've got the month of May. Uh, everything gonna quadruple in growth if he puts puts uh put in that ground, cuz mm -hmm. leave it in pot then. We yeah. I, I just I can't say no to nobody buying fruit trees. I can't say no. I look if you knew how many fruit trees I haven't received yet, I have so many fruit trees. On the way that I forgot some of the varieties I had coming. Good lord. You know why, Kevin? What's that? Because I like fruit trees. I don't no. give a, a rat's booty what anybody think about what I'm doing back there. If they ain't paying this light bill or this goddamn mortgage, they come every month. That's right. Be quiet. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm going to do what I like to do. Uh, you're, over yes, yeah, you're over 100 now, right? I don't know. That's, you know yeah. what? That's my annual video. I did a video last year, and it was over 50 trees, fruit trees. So at the beginning of every year when everything bloomed out, I'm going to do another uh, head count. Okay. But it depends on how you count them because I just planted, uh, like I would tell you, I'm in the cold-hearted citrus that I can plant in the ground. So I got like uh, citrain and uh, citrain, uh, Grapefruits and stuff, they, they're seedling. So if you count them in, that's 20 right there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Miss D's Hollywood Garden in the building. I like that classic cup you drank it from. Look, man, this is a uh, this is a pickle cup. Oh, come on. Now, is that the plastic pickle, too? Yeah, that's a blast. It's a blast. That's quality pickles, man. Gotta be blast. Come Gotta on. Gotta be blast. That had a crunch, that snap to them, boy. And then if 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 you ever in a convenience store and you come across a blood orange strawberry wine, get that. <laughs> get that. I got why when I say it's good, Calvin. Now, uh -oh. I'm a, I'm a cheap wine connoisseur myself. Okay. Now you can't fool me with any kind of cheap wine. I know cheap wine. This is my thing. I know cheap wine like Michael Jordan, no basketball. You know what I mean? No so doubt. this is the Rolls Royce of gas station wine. Just putting that out there. Mm. Strawberry and Morrow Blood Orange wine. Go get it. Uh-oh. Did he have house party as an image? House party. I don't know. We've been talking trade so long. I don't got behind. And lost. How far? I'm, I'm six minutes behind. Oh, my God. Riri's garden in the building. What's up, Riri? My dwarf banana. Everybody got a banana peach, but you. <laughs> Whoa! Wait a minute. Wait. <laughs> dwarf banana peach. I gotta leave. Only thirty-five. <laughs> okay, okay. Hey, they open an HEB down the street, so it'll be open next month. So uh, I, I, I will be getting me a, a dwarf bonanza peach. Come on, Ella. That's what's up. I'm gonna get two of them. Matter of fact. Uh, hey, so y'all keep coming up. She got more land. She had to, she oh. might have rented it. Yeah. Gina, you got enough space. If, if I got space, you got space. Okay, awaken <laughs> seed planted in the building. Mary grow with me 1964 in the building. What's up, Mary grow? She is sunshine. Say, uh, dang, how you gonna throw Gina on the bus? She ain't bothering nobody, just no respect. <laughs> You know what? <laughs> I wish you was up here on the live so I could hit the mute button on you. She is saying, right. <laughs> Look, I'm always going to come with Gina knows I'm love. Quit your, she knows love. That's where they got it from. Isons. Isons? Okay. 
And you know where ISIS is located in what state? Georgia. The great state of Georgia. Well, y'all gonna put some respect on Georgia. G mama grows hard in the garden. Say, yeah. I'm in the bushes working, but yeah, I can tame her and patio garden. Go check out Miss uh Miss G Mama Grove. That's right. Um uh, <clears throat> F. Smith, what's that? I planted my first tree, a red pomegranate in the ground yesterday. I'm growing up. You a big girl now. Hey, come on now. Big girl now. Look yes, at you are. I remember when you was a knee high to a grasshopper. Now look at you. Yeah. Hey, get ready. The pomegranate is growing ass. I got, dude, I got that Russian, uh, that red, Russian red, uh, red Russian, the Russian 26. I got the, uh, Wonderful, it died all the way back. It, it ain't gonna make it. And I got two more cold hearted Russian varieties. I didn't even keep up with the tag because I, I think all of them are just the same because they switch up names with some of these pomegranates. So anything to say Russian, Russian red and 26. Oh, and I got the South Basket. I got the yeah. South Basket pomegranate going out there. <laughs> so I heard that <clears throat> one's, uh, the seeds are kind of hard, but the juice is good, right? Yeah. Okay. I wanted to try a, a bunch of them to see which one would grow. There, there, uh, one red, wonderful red pomegranate. It died back two years in a row. I just cut it back yesterday, so that ain't one. Yeah, I got the angel red because the um, seeds are. It's, it's supposed to be sweeter than a wonderful, and the seeds are soft and edible. So, uh oh, Ty B in the building said, "New here. I'm here in West Texas, Abilene." Yeah. Uh, doing some research on fruit trees for the year in a recommendation. Wow. Oh, man. Abilene, you're about five hours away from me. Um, you, you at the right channel because uh, yeah. So Good Gardener is from Texas. Oh, yeah. You love fruit trees like mine, but on um, some fruit trees. First off, the easiest fruit tree to grow is peach. Peach, yes. peach grow like crazy. And but just, uh, talk to your uh, local extension office. Of a brother Calvin right here on what type of peach grows the best in Texas and go from there. And, and after that is whatever fruit you like to eat. Yeah, uh, you, you can might. go with the harvester, a red haven, any of those. Oh, yeah, a red haven is good. Oh, yeah, red haven is really good and uh they grow very easily. But a harvester, you don't even have to really prune a harvester peach tree. It's gonna stay at about 12 feet tall, and that's just mature growth. If you want something like that, I got one right behind me, and it's it's going to do great this year. Um, the Santa Rosa plum, pretty much the, the tank of all pears is the Orient pear. Okay. It, it can take wherever you plant it in America. It can pretty much take it other than maybe zone two or three. It couldn't take that. But uh, what else? Pomegranates love this kind of heat. You'll be fine with any kind of pomegranate. Because um, then I believe you really get hot. I mean, I get hot here, but it's, it's, ungodly hot over there so yeah just things like that you'll be fine and other things just try to keep in containers and bring it inside and out like your citrus and um probably not this year but next year i'm gonna show y'all citrus that you can plant in the ground down the zone seven Mm. They are they are cold hearted down in zero degrees. It's a it's a whole cold hearted movement on YouTube, and, and I just became a part of it. Dude. I, I'm, I'm so excited! I'm so excited! And I just can't hide it because you, you know you know. Kind of <laughs> you're talking all kind of citrus, right? Lemons, orange, all of it. Let, let me slow down for you, big guy. Okay. I know three varieties of lemon that's cold hearted to zero degrees. I know one variety of grapefruit that's cold hearted to zero degrees. I know God, like probably four or five orange varieties that's uh cold hearted down to zero degrees. Yeah, Cal. I'm, I'm I'm trying to do big things over here. Hey Cal, and guess what? What's up? My Fakushu kumquat that I grew from seed. Yeah. She about this big, man. She a monster. She's a monster. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. Man. That's what's up. Uh, ML Hunter in the building. Green thumbs up to Broke and Growing Family. Blessing to all. 
Um, I want to say I'm about to dig a hole for a food to apple right now. Come on now. Let's go. go. For it. And look, man, I just that's fire. Poor Cam, get the peach tree. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm biased. I, I, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get, it. I'm gonna get that peach tree. I'm gonna get. It. I'm gonna get two of them and put them in pots. <laughs> it is what it is. They ain't gonna let me make it if I don't. <laughs> so, bro, they ain't gonna let me make that peach tree. <laughs> oh my God, they ain't gonna let me make that. Uh, Kimberly Engall said, got me a red Russian pomegranate in a pot right now. And that's the thing. My um, my red wonderful. I should have left it in the pot. I should have left it in the pot. That was my fault. But I I know how I do that. So yeah. once it's this time of the year, I'm going to get more trees. So some things got to rotate out there. And that, that red pomegranate was one of them. Uh, something else. My lime quad tree. First off, that is the most disgusting fruit on the planet. Mm. I'm, and that's my personal opinion. Don't come for me in the comments. Lime quad is the worst fruit I ever had. The only fruit that tastes worse than a lime quad is a calamundi. Oh my God. I know. It's I, horrible. Calamundi. That's why I see them all the time. They got fruit all over them in the tree. And when, when you see them in the stores, I'm like, man, everybody says bad things about it, so I don't buy it. But I got it for 10 bucks, Cal. I didn't know what it tastes like. And you know the worst thing about a calamundi? It fruits so, like crazy. Don't it? Just I oranges just ain't all over. Here. It's got three more fruits on it right now. And I'm like, I'm going to eat it because I don't always food, but God darn, it's horrible. It is horrible. Mm. Um. Did I see Miss Charlotte? What Miss Charlotte? Oh, the everyday life of an OCD is chick Nikki in the field. What's up, Nikki? Miss Native Cherokee in the field. Miss Kill say, I'm trying to decide on getting another peach tree, but I don't know which one to get. Kill. Look, I, <laughs> I've wanted this. It's two peach trees that I've wanted forever. Forever? Forever. Mm. Now I have the red haven and I have the uh red globe. The red globe was gifted to me from the University of Georgia. <clears throat> so I have those. They they growing great food, fruit great, everything. But I feel like I'm letting Georgia down because I don't have a, a bell of Georgia peach. I feel like I'm I'm letting Georgia down. I don't have a bell of Georgia peach. And if you find a donut seven peach. Oh my God. Now y'all know I look day and night for fruit trees and fruit tree deal. A Saturn donut peach is, is number one on my list of peach trees. Bell of Georgia number two. Yeah. The only reason I got the red globe, it was free. The red hazel was next to nothing. Hey, can't be free. Yeah. But that Saturn. Go ahead, man. Yeah, that Saturn. I would love to have one of them too, man. God. That don't look Saturn look good. Oh man. Yeah, that's a good looking peach. Oh. God. Oh, see, uh, Odom's in Tennessee. He said Bella Georgia peach is a load this year. Pause. Pause. Stop putting uh, that in. Pause. <laughs> 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 that uh, he's, Odom said his Bella Georgia is producing well. Uh. Rambo Green Hands in the building. What's up, Rambo? Glad to have you on here. I'm out. I ain't even made the number two yet. Okay. I, <laughs> I get caught up in the chat, y'all. My bad. Cal be throwing me off. Cal be <laughs> me dying, and I, 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 I got to get back up. Uh, hold on. Let me. Uh, Garden of Ebron in the building. Say thanks, Cal and Brooke. I'm addicted to trees. Now I grabbed two, and one in the ground flowers are coming. And we're gonna get that. We're gonna talk about it. swoop like me in the building. What up, swoop? Now, um, uh, the number two thing on what the plant in spring something that's cheaper to grow than it is to buy. I'm gonna slow up a little bit on that. I'm gonna slow up on it because I'm gonna make this make sense. I grow beans for the nitrogen fixing properties to my soil. And I reap the benefits of the fruit. 
But if beans weren't and peas weren't nitrogen fixers, I wouldn't grow them. Cause beans are next to nothing at the grocery store. So <clears throat> things that are more expensive, tomatoes are super expensive to just buy at the grocery store. So you will benefit from uh, growing tomatoes at home. Potatoes are cheaper to grow than they are to buy. Squash and zucchini are cheaper to grow than it is to buy. Agreed. Agreed. Um, I also see a lot of the fruits, though. Strawberries, Ooh. blackberries especially, y'all. I don't know. if They can't make that container no smaller. All you're getting is about six, seven blackberries in that thing. And that'll be $3. I said, man, come on, y'all. And blueberries. Blueberries, y'all, any of them berries, they're just getting outrageous on the price right now. And, so it's and definitely then, cheaper. What, what, what people I see, I, I can't speak for where everybody live at. Blueberry plants are yeah. next to nothing. Yeah. I can get a, a smaller version of a blueberry plant for six bucks all day. One all gallon. day. One gallon. And if I wait to the end of the year with Lowe's, I can get a bigger blueberry for the same $6. The same $6. So, I don't know. Y'all yeah. y'all in the comments, let me know what y'all think about that. Yeah. What are y'all growing? A grape. A grape? Because it's cheaper. What up? <laughs> I said grapes? Come on, grape. man. Grape. A grape. <laughs> I told you about the Catawba grape uh, bush that I find in uh, Trap Supply for 14 bucks. I got two of them. And I, I went back, it was gone. I knew I had uh -huh. messed up. I knew I had messed up. Catawba grape. And couple, people don't understand, in Georgia, muscadines are wild. So if you get a muscadine plant and you plant it in Georgia, oh, it's going to grow. It's going to go crazy. Uh, Calvin was talking about blackberries. Blackberries are it almost what they are invasive <laughs> a little bit. They, oh, yeah. Mine are in pots now. I'm not yeah. putting it in the ground. They are invasive. If you go in the woods in Georgia, there's three things you definitely can find. You can find blueberries, muscadine, and uh, mulberries. Really? That, that's in the woods. That's in the woods. Gosh. So, and look, uh, first off, I'm I'm glad you put this in here because I've been meaning to call these cats out. Uh, T oh. said, bro, you can buy a Saturn donut peach a fast growing tree. You oh. have to be a millionaire <laughs> to buy a discounted tree at a uh, fast growing tree. They have got beside they sell. I saw an apple tree, a gala apple tree for $139 with 50% off. I said, what? Did they come with gold chains? <laughs> is the song made out of uh, vibranium? What, what, is, what is it? Must be because hey, fast growing trees, boy, they're gonna break you off, y'all. And, and that they went out like that's not including the shipping, but they, they went out with like that, Kale. I don't know when. Oh, gosh, man. Hey, uh, Psalm 146 Home and Garden said, What do I do to pollinate my lemon tree? If it only got one single lonely flower, huh? Um, it's, it's yeah, because uh, it must be a young one. If it's got one flower, because lemon trees, I got mine, mine ain't but so big in there right now in the, in the house right now, but it's got hundreds of flowers on it. And I don't understand if it's got one, it must be a small one gallon tree or something. I'm, Calvin, I'm gonna pick door two in this uh equation. <laughs> pull, pull it off. Pull it off. Because you if it just got one, it's kind of an oddball flower. And the if you if the tree is small, just pull it off and, and wait for it to build up its energy. Because I'm thinking it's pretty small if it got one bloom and it probably need that energy. And that that orange probably if it's a small tree that Orange, I mean, that lemon probably won't come to fruition anyway, so I would just pull it off. I, I picked door B on that one, Cam. I use a bit door A. Depends on the size of the tree because one bloom that's got to be a small tree. Oh, that's another good one. Melons, melons are another thing that are expensive in the grocery store and super cheap to grow at home. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's a dip. watermelon, cantaloupes. Some people were telling me they were buying watermelon for fifteen dollars last year. Oh shoot! Man. Oh shoot! <laughs> right. You serious? No. I I probably got three hundred saved seeds of watermelon right now. Mm. Uh. Ella said hey, they might be. Back. She had a question. I think you go back to the last comment. Oh. Yeah. Hold on. What was it? Okay, tip so. That's you, Kevin. You went back. That's growing in a container. The um, mix some. Um, I'm definitely growing mine in containers, and you can get a regular potting mix or even a garden soil. All right, don't don't knock the garden soils because they feed longer. But if you're gonna get a, a garden soil, you got to put some um, some pine bark nugget, pine bark mulch in there. Okay. Hey, Kevin, Kevin. Yeah. Hey, big guy. I don't know if they listen. What's up? I, but let them know you got a video with oh, that soil yeah. makes you talking about and how to mix it. I just I still, slide it in. Okay. It's right in there. I do have a video with a nice soil mix, y'all. So it'll oh, tell you everything you need to know on how to plant in containers and what will uh, be very successful for you. All right. But they do love, blueberries do love acidic soil. And that's all you ever hear. And I, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. That, what is it? That, um, Oh my gosh, that blue and white bag broke. What am I? Uh, oh, uh, the soil acidifier. Yeah, acidifier. I've never bought it. I've never bought it. All I do is just add pine bark mulch, not the nuggets because they're too big. You got to get the mulch because it's ground up a little bit more and it's about the size of nickels or dimes in there. And you mix that in with your uh, your garden soil or your potting mix. And it's going to give you all the drainage that you need and it's going to feed the roots for your blueberries to show up and show out. Now, now I'm I'm gonna choose door B. Now I don't I don't buy a whole bunch of uh different kind of fertilizer, but I did get that soil acidifier. Yeah. But I've had that bag for two years. So would I buy it again? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> they see in the building. Uh, a couple more things. Gibson say peppers. I don't know. You can't bell peppers kind of cheap. Strawberries, that was Calvin saying definitely. Grapes, Calvin said that. And lettuce. Now I'm gonna tell you why you buy the lettuce, because they've had too many outbreaks of salmonella and lettuce. Ooh. I would never buy lettuce at the grocery store again. Oh, I just don't eat lettuce. No, 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 no. And these were grapes, blueberries, and raspberries cost seven dollars. I did a video last year. It next to nothing down here, dude. Uh. Oh, pink lemonade blueberry. I got two of them. Ooh, I just remember I got my daughter a pink lemonade blueberry yesterday. I blame bro. You blame me till you eat that fruit, Ebron. When you eat that fruit, you're going to say, thank you, Jesus, and appreciate you, your farm. That's what you're going to say. That's what you're going to say. Never had them. Never I had ate them one time, but I ate them from the grocery store. And when I say, Kevin, it was like cotton candy blueberries. Oh my god! Oh my god! When it when it when it touch it, you. I don't even know how to describe. It, real talk, it's one of the greatest things of uh, probably ever. Uh, also, calamine or oranges are made for cooking or making marinades and marmalade. Yeah, I saw that, but I was like, I can eat it. I was wrong, but I'm gonna eat it. And look, Cam, I'm gonna tell you how mean I am. Now that I know the fruit tastes horrible. I'm gonna yeah. put it in the grind and let it soak. Chris said, "I had wild blackberry growing behind my fence, and now they're popping up in my yard. Oh, you can't stop them. You only hope oh, it's, over. it's over now. Can't. I I got one uh, going on along my back fence line. I've cut it down twice. It popped back every three, four days. Miss Shirley, OG garden in the field. What's up, Miss Shirley?" What's going on, Mr. Lemon trees are normally bloom like crazy. Yep. Yeah. David Coy with the cropper in the building. If y'all don't know the cropper, he is also Texas born and he doing big things, different things, chicken things, uh, growing in grind. He got a couple fruit trees. Mr. Cropper doing it big time over there. Y'all shout out to the cropper. Yes, sir. What's up, brother? 
uh, yeah, fast growing trees out their mind. That area, <laughs> area is growing. The area they are in is growing. So, yeah, that area growing, but our area ain't growing. Can't afford them prices. Now, if you want, look, I'm, I'm a, since we're talking about nursery, and I just saw hands in the dirt. Huh? Shots out to hands in the dirt. What's up, so, Bottoms Nursery. Real reasonable prices. Go over to Bottom Nursery. Go over to Food Forest Nursery. If you go over to Food Forest Nursery, put in Broke Farmer 10 and you get 10% off. Or oh, you can put in, Kevin, did you get yours? Yes, sir. So Good Gardener 10. So Good Gardener 10 and you can get 10% off anything on the website. Yeah. Now, when it comes to price, those two uh, websites and Ison Nursery are probably the most reasonable. But if you want exotic fruit and stuff like that, try McKenzie Farm, try uh, Dave Well Nursery. I think that's only for Texas. And uh, oh man, what's the uh, other? Loges. Loges. Yeah. How did you know that? Loges. Loges <laughs> is expensive, but Loges, they got it. Loges they got it. Got it. Oh, and Loge is going to send you something about this big. It's going to be a little big stick. But that thing, for some reason, is going to take off. Everything I got. Like it. Yeah. It just, I man. See. Gosh, I don't know what I they got put a, in, but it takes I got, off. I got a ton of hot shit persimmon. I bought it as a whip this yeah. big three years ago. When I say that joke, an itch thick and reaching for the sky like somebody got a gun on. That's what you're doing right now. Yeah, right now, and it was just a whip. Matter of fact, in my early videos, I used to call it my Charlie Bryan tree, and I passed by that tree one time in the video and said, You so small, it's disrespectful. I ain't gonna put you in the video. Mm. Forgive me, uh, Tiny Hodge, uh, because I was wrong. <clears throat> Let me see, they go hands in the dirt. Yes, sir. Going on, brother. Oh, man. I'm trying not to miss anybody. If y'all wonder why I sit and pause like this, I want to sift through the comments, make sure, because I want to speak to everybody. We want to respect everybody in the comments, because everybody is important to us. Just like them groceries in the building. What's up, them groceries? Big time in Florida. Yeah. Them groceries, big time in Florida. He just got two more mangoes. Big time, big time. Now, the third thing on what the plan is spring. Is things that will store well so you don't have to rush and eat them. Now, I've ran into this. I grow so much stuff and I got to eat it. I got 12 tomatoes. Now, I got to the point where I freeze uh, my cherry tomatoes, but you get so much stuff, you got to eat it right then. So, things that you can store like sweet potatoes, white potatoes, uh, cushion squash, um, Spaghetti squash, acorn squash, things of the old nature to store for the for time. You know what I mean? I think that's a good idea. What you yeah. say, Cal? I don't know. I just talk it sometimes. Man, to be honest, I a lot of the stuff don't even make it in the house. Cause I just eat I, as I'm walking around, I just out here eating the uh okra. I eat it fresh off the plant. Freaking tomatoes, some of the peppers. Yeah, it's I, I struggle with getting it to the house. That's the problem. So I encourage my family to come out here with me if I'm harvesting, because uh, that's just how it is, man. Especially any berries, whatever it is like that. Yeah, any of that stuff. But I'm with you there. Definitely the, the squash, the kush, y'all. I'm trying that for the first time this year since you said that. I appreciate that. That'd be my first time with that. And then it's I grow garden snakes, like. Ground cherries. Ground cherries have never made it in the house here. Oh. Never. Hold up. Bro, you got some out there? No, I got a seed. Oh, I'm going to say. What? what? No, no. <laughs> You're a magician out there. This one right, right here. Which See one that? is that? There's a pineapple. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Cossack pineapple. Never had it in my life, but we're gonna try it this year. Oh, oh! Somebody just sent me a cool email about uh, Bella Georgia Peach. I'm, I'm gonna read it as soon as we get off him. Now, it's I don't know, and sweet peas. That is one of my gardening snacks. 
Those Sweet Alaskan pea. sweet peas, I don't know what I love them got going Alaskans. And they're so cheap. That's one of the four for a dollar seeds you can get at the Dollar Tree. Yes. If you see Alaskan peas, sweet peas in Dollar, dollar General or the Dollar Tree, four for a dollar, some outrageous price like that. Get those. Get those. I'm a I'm a OD on those peas this year, man. What's up, Tamika Davis in the building? Oh, let me sip through these. What else we got here? Uh, Ebron said, my wife went to Starburst today and for some coffee grounds, I'm about to do work. Look, put it out there. And then you know how they, Cam was talking about the city of soil? Put it over your blueberries. Mm -hmm. Yep, just sprinkle right on the top. Working oh, out, baby. Yeah. It's good to go. Can someone please send me? <laughs> uh -oh. I'm here. See, Damn, I got you know that. You, you need some grass. <laughs> you I want some of these? Right. You want some of these, Jamie? I don't even remember where I found them things. Lord, have mercy. If I send you my pack, we might split it. How about that? We might split Thank it. You. And I'm not gonna plant ground cherries next year because if you know if you plant ground cherries, you gonna have ground cherries. They will reseed themselves because they fall to the ground just like the name entail. They fall to the ground, and once they make it in that soil, oh, you'll see them next year. Man, listen, I'm gonna eat them all. Yeah. Oh, I ain't mad I'm about not, it. I'm not gonna miss one. That's what I'm saying. Oh, so, you will. <laughs> I'm gonna eat them all. I won't miss one, I promise you. They are delicious. Oh, David planted uh -oh. your David, did you plant yours from seed or did you already have it started? Look at that teaser says she got you, Gina Gina. Email teaser. Go on with Hudson in the building. Your ears must have been burning. We were just talking about you. What's up, Hudson? Gee, Hud. Micro farmer in the building. What's up, micro? Bro, what's going on, bro? They say they're invasive. Hey, I take that invasive uh six out of seven days out of the week. Look at homestead of Rachel says she got look, look, this. How, first off, y'all don't know this how gardening community do. We find out what people need, whether it's seeds, information, or anything else, and we try to figure out how to make it happen. Shouts out to the community. Shannon, 2003 in the building. What's up, Shannon? I, I didn't miss nobody. Didn't miss nobody. I'm at the bottom again. Now, what the plant is spring? The next thing is perennials. This is something I'm. I'm yes. just gonna keep going. All medicinal per perennials. I'm gonna try to plant. I'm gonna get seeds, or if I see them at the, uh, if it's a bunny plant. Now, y'all know me and bunny have been beefing for about two years, but if bunny got them plants I need. I'm, I'm getting the bunny plants. Yeah. I, I ain't studying that. I ain't big on start. But when it comes to perennial plants, I'm getting all them. I'm getting it. I'm not playing no more with them. Agreed. Damn, what your herbs looking like? Man, I got some. What I got over here? I got some right behind me. Who starts? Marjoram. I got some marjoram. I got some... Uh, time around here somewhere and i just dropped some what was that i dropped earlier i dropped some uh some more time i dropped some of the uh purple basil and of course green basil and a couple a couple more things just rosemary and things like that now just, the, uh, my time made it through the whole winter fine the only yeah. thing i'm scared of i have it in a a fabric pot and i was gonna put it in the grind i think i'm just gonna leave it in that fabric pot i'm not gonna mess up what's going on because that thing is going good i i got some time i dried it out in the house i didn't dehydrate it man i just dried it out and put it in a shaker i didn't know this calvin i like thyme and rosemary on everything yes sir did i say, did I say something kevin everything <laughs> everything, everything. <laughs> Grits, eggs, uh, fago, 
uh, tomatoes, uh, potatoes, uh, Cheetos, uh, onions, everything. Hey, let me tell you one thing you can do. I, I, I love it on chicken, like you said, fish. It doesn't matter, man. You baking it, you put just lay it on top. You ain't even got to, don't press it in. You don't have to do all that. Just lay it on the top. And y'all, it's it's amazing. It's just, it takes it to another level. It's something special about it, y'all. Fresh herbs, if you're not doing it, please do it. Don't underestimate the herb. I'm Dude, just it, telling you. It, 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 it does. Cool now. Yes, now, no, I'm, I'm telling you. From, from, from the eating standpoint, Calvin talking about from the cooking standpoint. Yes, it is. It's just different. Okay. And you can get them dehydrated, dried, all that stuff, and, and think it tastes the same. There's nothing like coming out here in your backyard or wherever you may be growing it in your kitchen window and just plucking it off and putting it on some chicken and then just baking it or fish or whatever you bake it. Steaks, rosemary and steak. Come on, man. Y'all. Just trying to Won't tell you. Do it. Trying, Won't trying to help do you. it. <laughs> yes, Lord. Tony Jackson in the building. What's up, Tony Jackson? Let me get back down to, oh, I was on uh, Sweet Thong. There you go. They dropped uh, dirt on my land. It was ground chairs all down the road. Man, ground chairs, Ooh. too. You, you can't stop ground cherries, but they so got done to them. Yeah, I got to have I don't see what the problem is there. Let them grow. Now, I just, don't want, I just don't want my stuff to get into my neighbor yard. You know what I mean? Okay. What's okay. up, K. Ashburn? Glad to have you in here. You know what? I've seen you in the comments. I I want no, this ain't your first live. I've seen you in here before. My bad. But glad to have you in here on this good Sunday. Good Sunday. And we just talking and catch you up. We talking about what things are playing in spring. And I gotta hit all the comments. Uh will y'all be uh participating in the planter herb garden challenge? I won't. No, no. I, but, I don't. It's a good challenge. It's just, I don't. Uh, okay, but let me tell you why. All right, this is my thing. And whether you agree with me or not, it's my backyard. I can grow what I want to grow. But <laughs> I don't think it takes that many herbs because a lot of herbs have similar principles that, that help similar things. So if I grow 10 things, I mean, probably five of them will overlap. And this is my strictly my opinion. Somebody might have facts that don't line up with them. Say what I'm saying is my opinion. So I'm gonna grow. I'm I already got marjoram, rosemary, mullein, uh, thyme. I probably got seven herbs going right now. I just feel like that's enough. So for me to grow the ten herbs that it takes to be in the challenge, I just don't want to waste space on something that I'm not gonna use. Agreed. I got sage too. I forgot about that. Oh, I got sage. Yeah. Can't you the got goddamn man. Yeah. And I got pineapple sage that just came back. Yeah, I got some of my raised bed out there. Um, uh, Hudson said, What did y'all say? No, we was uh talking to somebody in the chat. They were saying there was a patio gardener, and I was we were letting them know the people that do patio gardening, and we brought your name up from yeah. Hudson. Yeah. So let us get a dollar for that free promo. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Rambo said broke farm the time will be fine and the coal miners outside and I have over 20 time points. No, what I was saying is I wanted to put it in the ground, but I'm thinking I should just leave it alone or I'm probably going to propagate a couple of cuttings and see can I put them in the ground because I would love to have time in the ground so I can eventually do away with some of these uh, containers I have in the yard. But I don't like cilantro unless I'm eating tacos. That is the I don't know why. Cilantro go with taco. That's it. Yeah, but cilantro also turns to the seed is what? Coriander, right? Yeah. Coriander is excellent when you're cooking with uh steaks as well. Coriander, man, come on. I'm just telling you. Coriander's good stuff. I don't know, Kevin. It ain't my thing. It's just it, it's not my thing. I'm trying you to grow lots of herbs. Huh? You don't like the aftertaste? No. I'm trying to grow a lot. Unless it's in tacos. I don't know why that worked together. 
Oh, I'm okay. trying to grow lots of herbs so I can dry them for year round cooking. Oh, That's yeah. about perennial herbs that we, and, and listen real close when I say this perennial herbs that I actually eat, that we eat on a regular basis. I'm going to try to get them in the ground. But, and I'm going to take two herbs every year to see how I feel about them. And this year is mullein and marjoram. The mullein for uh, congestion and problems like that. Uh, marjoram, I couldn't. I did a whole video about that. Uh, Calvin, I watch our promo on this whole uh, video right now. Watch this. Watch this. Go ahead. Yeah, um, I did this video called uh, Eight Herbs You Should Be Growing. Go check it out. But in that video, <laughs> I talked about marjoram. And uh, I think it's a great herb. Doing my research and things that have helped me, like for hair loss and things of that nature, you know, I'll look for herbs. So some stuff that I herbs I need, you might not need. What's up, the bull in the oh, field? What's up, bull? What's up, bull? Now we talking about fruit yeah. trees and stuff. <clears throat> Go look at the bull's garden. I want to say bull got a fruit tree playlist. Bull's garden got a a wonderland of fruit trees. Man. A wonderland. Hey man, let me tell you. If I ever get to the bull's garden, I think I I, I forgot how to skip, but I think I remember just to skip through his his garden because man, it's ridiculous how he's got the trees laid out. It just oh bull man, you're such an inspiration, brother. I'm here to tell you. Hey, I, look, I love when I go down now, yeah, I, I wanna. I think the bull got that donut Saturn peach. Bull, if you still in here, do you have the donut Saturn peach? I just want to look cutting to try to grab on. I just want. I, I I think I can get that donut peach grafted onto my Red Haven. I think I can. Mm, mm, mm. Now watch. This, this is the time the bull stepped out to get a drink. He ain't heard none of what I just said. <laughs> <clears throat> Uh oh, you got yours in the ground. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Lillian Hendrix in the building. Say hello, broken Kevin. I don't know what a ground cherry is. It's a cherry or a tomato or what what does it taste like? Kevin, please let me have this. Kevin, hey, I've it. never had it, so I'm going it for the first time. Oh, you helping me tastes, too. It it tastes like uh Jesus was walking by a chair and sprinkled sugar on it. And touch it and say, "Go and be great." That's what it tastes like. <laughs> That's what it tastes like. Oh man, I, I don't want that to be invasive, though. Yes, I do. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, I do. But everywhere I've ever planted ground cherry, is always came back the next year. That's what okay. it tastes like to me. Y'all, let oh. me know what the ground cherry tastes like to y'all. All right, so you got experience on this. Should I put? You know, I got this clay soil, bro. Should I put it in the ground or should I put it in a pot? A pot. A pot? Okay. Does a it, pot. I mean, is it like the roots? Is it got to be a big pot, a five gallon bucket? What do I need to put it in? I don't know. I, I would go bigger than five. I would go at least 10. Really? And I would think they would do excellent in a, a grow bag if you got a grow bag. I do. I do. Okay. All right. I found one right here. Oh, what's on there? Gardening is great in the field. What's up, gardening is great. Everybody shot not the bull. No doubt. <clears throat> Did someone call my name Corey Ander? Herb <laughs> <laughs> for hell loss. Get you some stinging nettle. Now look, now hell, I'm just I'm just kidding. My hair ain't coming back. My yeah. wife is, is into the hair industry. She's a professional, and she told me. She say once it starts shining right there, those follicles are gone. Yeah, that's a wrap. I, I, it's a wrap. I'm not even gonna try. I'm not gonna play with. It. And plus, I cut my own hair for free now. If I got more hair, I'll be paying forty dollars for a haircut. I don't want to go back. How we said plus tip, plus tip. <laughs> I've been looking at that orange mint. I want the chocolate mint. Bogart, I'm over here with my snips. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, he uh the bull just had a video of burning the garden. 
to put uh, nutrients into the soul. Yeah. Did the bull it. ever come back and comment? Nope. He went and got him something to drink. Got him something to drink. Uh, I like to try different stuff. Even though, oh, you talking arugula and Chris. <clears throat> Leave that arugula with it. It's good Ground stuff. Cherries are awesome. Pineapple grind cherries. Sweet. Oh, you ain't talking to me. I'm sweet, though. I grew round chairs for the first time last year in a fabric pot. Yup, that's what I was saying. Okay. And it was growing like crazy. That's it. I'm dropping them seeds today. Oh, uh, Tiggy started playing one ground chair plant, and the birds dropped seeds all over the yard, and they have taken over everything. Oh, yeah. That's, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Chocolate mint is delicious. I will have some very soon. And I'm not growing chocolate mint from seed. I will be buying that. Um, also, now nah, we ain't gonna do that. I don't like that. I felt like we already talked about that. Uh, growing things that you can use for fertilizer, I think this is a topic that we don't talk about a lot, but it's a lot of things that add nitrogen and other things to your garden. And we already talked about in beans how having them will add nitrogen to your soil, but you also have comfrey. Yes. Comfrey needs no work. Comfrey needs no water. You chop and drop comfrey leaves or make comfrey tea, not the drink, not the drink. Not the drink. Comfrey <laughs> tea for your plants. Uh, comfrey. Uh, did we talk about perennials? Yeah, we talked about yeah. Um, Mexican sunflower, cover crops, lemongrass. <clears throat> and my thing with lemongrass, I would use lemongrass with chopping drop. I don't want lemongrass tea. Some people use it for the tea. I don't want the tea. I just want to use it with chopping drop because it grows really big and it breaks down slow. So make sure you grow things that you can use for fertilizer. Ain't nobody got time to be buying all this goddamn fertilizer when nature say, hey, Take this fertilizer and be abundant with it. Man, let me tell you. Fertilizer right there. Y'all see that? Banana peel. Hey, number, number fertilizer. All of it. Come on now. Easy. Marie Wallace. I'm sorry, go ahead, Kim. I'm just saying easy stuff. Easy stuff. Marie Wallace in the they don't say, broken calf. I'm growing ground cherries for the first time. Can I put two pans and 20 gallon grow bag? Two uh, pans? Two plants. I think two plants. Okay. Fail check got them. Okay, okay. I would say yes. And 20 gallon, yes. Because this is my rule of thumb. Now, how everybody do garden that's on them. This is my tried and true. What I've tried and I've seen this working that work. One plant per five gallons of growth space. Makes sense. You should never put two plants in five gallons. If you want two plants, minimum 10 gallons, depending on the plant, that's not big enough. But just the number of plants is by gallons, five gallons, but it depends on the plant. If it's a tomato, I would say 10 gallons. Ground chairs don't grow that tall, so can you put two in the 20? I would say yes. Fine. You agree with this with that, Kev? I agree with that. I like that concept with the one in a, every five gallons. That makes sense. You got rooms for the roots to spread out and get all the nutrients they need to give you all the fruits you want and all the food that you're looking for. So, yeah, overcrowding, you're just going to have a smaller smaller crop. You don't want that. And uh, comfort, I, was, I mean, Hudson also said boards. I'm growing boards too. It's a lot of awesome things. A lot of awesome things. Uh, crimson clover. I was talking about uh, brown clover. Crimson clover. Yes, no work is key to following nature's way. I told y'all I'm, I'm getting on this uh, permaculture life. I'm, I'm probably three more years down the road from where I want to be. But that's the way I'm heading. I don't blame you. Uh, 
What's up, Nettles and Ness in the building? <laughs> what bro, lemongrass with that chocolate mint will make you think twice. Ooh. Come on now. I wonder what that tastes like. Now you right, got me thinking. Pretty good, good boy. I want to get it. I don't want to grow up and see. I got uh somebody sent me some uh uh some old lemongrass seeds. I don't think my lemongrass coming back. <laughs> So good at first, I thought you were holding up some Popeyes iced tea. My husband buys that stuff. Yeah, that Popeyes oh, iced tea good. No, that's a it's a Canes jug. Y'all got Canes out there? Uh uh-uh. uh. No, no, my uh-uh. chain fingers. That's a Canes sweet tea jug that I just put some banana peels and fill it up with water. And it's right, been, a, say, been in there about a month. Somebody say, How long can you leave it, leave it in there? Oh, that one's been in there about a month. So it's really ready to go. And it don't stink either. It smells just like some banana water. So, but but you dilute that. Do you dilute it? Yeah, I actually okay. added. Um, I put some of that in there, obviously, some Ooh. five eleven and some juice. I mix all three of them together, and I make a super ingredient to pour my greens or whatever I'm planting out there. Yeah, and it just takes off, y'all. I'm feeding every which way possible, but I, I use all natural stuff and. Even my um my neighbor, he called me last night. He goes fishing all the time. And he um catches. I, I'm from East Coast, so I say crappy, but I hear it's, it's crappie. So he catches a bunch of them, right? And he fillets them, and he would just throw the the carcasses away. I said, "Oh no, sir, you're done throwing them away." I said, "I need all that." So all he does now is puts them in the freezer and gives them to me. And I just put Ooh. them in my garden. <laughs> I grind them up. And just put it at, or I can I'll move the most back, dig a little bit down, and just go all the way around my tree and cover the most, cover it back up. With me. That's it, man. And that's one reason I got to get back to fishing, man. I haven't been fishing in about a year, man. But yeah. that 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 them guts, and that's what my uh grandmother put in our in our garden. Fish guts. That's the only yeah. fertilizer I ever seen to use. Fish guts. All you need, I'm telling you, I don't buy any any pelletizers. Anything like that. No. Gina, I'm headed over there. Oh, hold on. I never did plug my laptop up. Cap, let me plug my laptop up, man. I'm just sitting there. I got the cord on the floor. Hey, I checked that out, Gina. You know, I, I think I, I did leave a comment on that. But um, that's that's definitely interesting what you got going on over there with the uh, that that allotment that you're pretty much getting. And I think you're going to get a 20 by 40. He said you signed up for the year, so... That is going to be pretty cool. Uh, and my only concern would be keeping people out of my groceries. Uh, that's a big trust factor. And I know you're cool with it. You're going to roll up on there. And you you got that little shawty with you. You know, just make it, just don't get it too personal out there. Somebody reaching over and snatching up your watermelon and running off with it. <laughs> oh, don't worry. Jim can't grow watermelon anyway. Dang it. Ain't, ain't grow ain't in the field. <laughs> ain't in the field. Uh, Canes is like Zaxby's. Up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, good okay, yeah. okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. That's what I got is. you. Man. Exactly like that. Uh, let's hear another one of these before we get. Hold on, that's some good comments. Crappy fertilizer. Yep. Hey, hey, I'm all about natural, y'all. Just you can use. Obviously, I use tuna fish, and if, if I'm doing it in pots. That's the only time I really do something like that. I use tuna fish or I use uh, sardines and water. And yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, it works. I meant, uh, I'm waiting to catch a deal on some sardines. You know, sardines go on sale a lot. Yeah, they do. But make All sure right. get the ones in mustard, y'all. Please, just get make sure it's in water. And you're good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, also, things you should plant in the spring, things that attract Pollinator. Now, I wasn't always a flower guy. Kevin is more of a flower guy than I am. But yes, things that attract pollinators, uh, flowers, fruit trees have blooms and flowers. So, and the most attractive uh, colors, now I Google this, Kevin, you might have to uh, correct me on this one, is white, yellow, blue, and purple attract more pollinators. I got to grow more Flowers. Yeah. Most now, now this, yeah. 
you know a whole lot more about flowers than I do. I am I'm working on being a flower guy. Yes, uh, uh I'm all about it, man, because um it just it works. It just uh, that's what I need in my garden. I'm looking for the maximum amount of fruit I can get. And I'm I'm planting me some flowers, y'all. I believe in it. Man, look, why everybody coming to Gina A? I know, man. man. They, they, God, man, God. what is that? They boo me and just and applaud Gina. And she got the same space. Every time I got. Face. You're right, Gina. You're right, Gina. <laughs> Calvin said, I got 22 uh, fruit trees on 0.5 acres. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Miss Sharon, try this. Put a thick layer of coffee grounds on top of, of the fish and see if it helps. Yes. Oh, yeah. Hey, right, PIA said, What you doing with that tuna sardine? I put it in pots. Um, I just did a hey, hold on, bro. Let me get this thing. All right, uh, y'all say sardines one more time. African dream is gonna match up here. He in the bushes now. We don't say a sardine three times. No thought, man, won't be none. You know, I'm gonna start something, Gina. You know it. Mickey got some beautiful flowers over there. When I do this video, about three days ago, three, four days ago. This thing ain't had nothing on it, right? Oh, I put this, put it in this pot, and she already bud now, already green. Oh, Y'all, and she gonna she gonna cut up once she really get to them things. And I just did this; it didn't have a leaf on it three days ago, and it's covered already. You Y'all, probably go, you gonna get fruit this year. I'm gonna get fruit. This year. Yes, sir. Yeah, but that's what. It's the fish, the the sardines and the tuna helps it double pretty much in size compared to doing it without it. It just using regular pot mix. It will double. That's what I did. That's what I've done with everything I put out here. It's gonna have something in it in the pot. If I put it in the ground, I don't really amend the soil. But in a pot, I'm gonna amend the soil. And then uh zinnias, marigolds, and sunflower. I got a gang of sunflowers. I ain't already gave them away in uh, seedlings. I'm going to plant sunflowers. My little girl asked me to plant some sunflowers. Yeah. You put canned tuna in your plant? Yeah. 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 That goes all the way back to the Indians putting fish in uh, in the hole. Yep. Some people uh, put eggs in the hole mm-hmm. when they plant. Uh, I froze crab shells and shrimp shells. Should I grind them? Yeah. Yeah. It'll break down easier. Uh, PIA, you living good, ain't you? Crab shells and shrimps. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Man, life is good over there. Yes, it is. Right, like, I just eat uh crab legs and shells and shrimp <laughs> and shrimp and everything. Yeah, that was that was breakfast. Now what about going <laughs> TLC in the garden? What's up, TLC? What's going on, TLC? Elevated lawnscapes in the building. Uh, if you are into lawn maintenance and you are into having a, a more beautiful, abundant yard, something that the neighbors say, what you doing over there? Mm-hmm. Go to Elevated Lawnscapes. He is surgical. Surgical. Greg look like somebody painted with dark green paint out there. Man. Good thing, no whammies. Uh... What did I just hit? Oh, I put leftover squirrel and rabbit in the hole. All of it. Good. All of it. All of it. Roadkill, whatever. You can, you can put it all in the hole. Hey, uh, growing together nursery uh, LLC in the building. I did What's some grafting on? yesterday because, I mean, today because you had me all motivated. <laughs> didn't work out. It didn't go that way. It didn't hey, go that way. Captain Broke, did you use electrical tape or are you using like graphing tape? I can't tell you because I'm, oh, oh, okay. I'm trying to okay. make a video game. My bad. My bad. I'll see you soon. <laughs> right. see you soon. Yeah, you okay. know how I am when I got a video. I can't do nothing in the way. 
because that one thing you want to know, if I tell you now, yeah, or yeah. somebody else in the comment, they're like, I ain't gonna watch. That's all right, I want. Right. Nah, nah, you gotta watch the video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but going to get nurse, you got me in trouble. I'm out there, man. I can't be the whole the whole uh thing. But you know, when when you're a gardener, some people think I can do magic. So I just get phone calls sometimes, say, hey, can you grow this? Uh can you uh propagate this? And so I got one of them phone calls. And I'm I'm gonna um uh, share it with y'all. Living out loud the podcast after dog in the building. Um let's hit the next one. All right. Um and we're still talking about what things to plant in spring. Um I'm gonna skip that one. No, I'm gonna skip this one. Two vegetables you've never grown before or never tasted, but you you looked at this vegetable like that might be good to try. Hmm. In your garden, you always got to be evolving and moving forward. You can't grow the same thing year after year after year. But you don't, on the flip side of that, you don't want to put too much time and energy or space in the growing things. You know, you're not sure if you like to eat them or not. So every year have two plants that you've never grown before just to expand a little bit. You know what I mean? Okay. I'm glad you said plants instead of veggies because with plants, my two is Jamaican sorrel and the ground cherry. Never had them. So those that's my two. Nice. I got I got a lot. Uh, the dark galaxy tomato, the the highly controversial dark oh. galaxy tomato. The purple one. Yep, I'm growing purple. it. Come on, yeah. man. And if, if everybody say that's the first GMO seed that the people can get, I'm gonna eat the GMO seed. I don't care. I'm gonna eat it. I don't care. I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> We've been eating GMO uh base uh fruits and vegetables for the last 40 years. But when this one awesome vegetable come out, now y'all don't want me to grow that. Mm. Oh, I'm growing that kale. I ain't that. You'll grow. Okay. I ain't that. And then I even did all the research. I don't know if I believe that. I'm just saying, I'm gonna put that out there. I don't know. I ain't did no research. I can't go with on go off what everybody else say because I tell people to do their own research. So if I don't do my own research, I'm a hypocrite. So I ain't sure about it. Yep. Great. Keep practicing. It took me over 40 times to get it. It's, I don't know. I've tried it twice before and it didn't work out. So I went big this time. I I grabbed a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. And before I put the video out, I'm gonna do some propagation, so it's gonna be a big time uh grafting propagation video. Ooh, 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 ooh. Shots out the homestead of race supporting the channel. First off, race, I appreciate that for being the best part of our gardening community, and that is the people in the gardening community. You know what I mean? Appreciate everybody taking care of each other, looking out for each other, supporting everybody in the community. It's a beautiful thing. So if we keep um Looking out for everybody and doing well by everybody. Everybody will grow in knowledge and not just subscribe. Everybody been thinking about it. I'm a subscriber. I ain't, I ain't talking about that. We just grow in knowledge. That's if if somebody can give you a little piece of knowledge that you can take along with you. That's the best thing they can do for you. Money come and go. People come and go, but knowledge is with you to the day you die. Right. Uh. I'm going to grow watermelon this year. If it can go for it. I mean, we got the watermelon king in here. Shouts out to David Core, but I still do my thing with watermelon. Most uh, I'm trying to see what it, uh, them apple cucumbers are like. I got the package right now, man. Look. Uh oh. Apple cucumbers. Look. This is a Richmond green apple cucumber. Yeah. I'm growing that. <laughs> I'm direct sowing that. No chance to lose. Uh, and David, 
look, real talk. I was about to hate on you, David. I was just about to hate on you. <laughs> but for 2024, you are the reigning watermelon king with a 50-pound watermelon documented on record. So I can't say that, but do your thing, big fella. I wanted to hate now. I wanted to hate, but I cannot hate. You are the king this year. Never grown cares or corrupt. What you waiting on, man? Come on, Ella. What? Carabin? That's easy. Delicious. Delicious. Easy stuff. Uh, Miss Mayor said, let's not forget. What up? I was saying they're easy and they're good. She said, let's not forget. Uh, if you're going to eat them raw, slice them up and get some uh, ranch salad dressing. Yeah. Uh, let's not forget to cook, burn all the bones from your meats till they are soft. Turn them into power and the uh, meal and soil, natural bone meal. You know what? I keep forgetting that, man. And we eat a lot of Popeye. We eat a lot of Popeye. I got to do that. I'm going to start collecting bone. Makes yeah. sense. I think I'm just going to put them on the grill, man. Just get a bunch of them, put them on the grill, and let them uh, cook down. I got to remember that, dude. That is a great idea. I had one new plant at least every year this year. I'm adding like 10 new plants. Man. Radicchio, uh, I don't I don't sound like nothing I like just the name. <laughs> 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 Learning to identify and eat the wild lettuce can grow naturally. Yes. Ask broke about strawberry. Now that, that's my thing. Yeah, ask me about strawberry. Ask David Core about the watermelon. That, I, no I, no I doubt. No strawberry doubt. Now. I'm kind of good at that. What's up, Earthland? Food forest permaculture in the building. What's up, Howard? Uh, broke trying to get superpower from a tomato. Look, man, we've been eating this stuff forever, man. And the one time that something really cool come out that I want to try, man, I can't try it because it ain't good. We've been eating this bad stuff. I can't eat one more bad thing. Ever. One more. Just one. I know you're gonna give us an honest taste review, taste test review on it. So, oh, thanks. I'll wait. I'll wait and see. Cause the uh the Cherokee purple tomato, I didn't like that. Everybody loved that. Yeah. I, I think it's overrated. So we'll see. I I try to keep it on. Last year I grew purple sweet potatoes. Not as sweet as regular, but they were good. Mine didn't even grow. I got some Okinawa sweet potato slip from my buddy. They didn't grow at all. I don't know what happened. The purple gallus is not the GMO tomato. GMO is called. The GMO is just called the purple tomato. Oh, oh! Okay. It's not, I had a conversation with somebody. Uh oh, she in here. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Shana? Look, I was having this conversation with Shana uh, last night, so I I couldn't say much because I've never done research on it. So I respect everybody's opinion, but I didn't, did no research on it. So I will. I think I'm gonna do a video on it. I think that'd be cool. Once I research, cause once I research something, I'm like, I, I don't gain this knowledge on this one subject. What am I gonna do with it? Just keep it to myself? No. no. Make a video. I'll make uh seven dollars off. Mm. Let me see. Uh, I can't donate now, but I will in the future. Bro, you're very inspired. Oh, that ain't no big deal. You donate it now. You hit the like button. That's what it's all about. Um, uh, it's a cherry tomato genetically modified with the purple snapdragon. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's a cherry tomato will give us because snapdragon flowers are edible, eatable. Yeah, okay, uh oh, dragon egg cute. Oh, my god, oh, my god, <laughs> Kevin, have you had them yet? I haven't had them. Oh, my god. Dragon egg cucumbers. Where'd you oh. find them? Where, did you get them on uh, Baker Creek? Baker Creek. Okay. Yeah, I got mine from Homestead of Rachel. Yeah. Wellness with Frugal Mama in the building. Uh, K.A. say I'm a permaculture food forest too. It's breaking my heart to cut trees back to keep sunlight. You gotta do it. You gotta do it. But 
if you make wood chips out of those trees you cut down, then you still add them to the land. So you're not you're technically not taking anything away from the land. You, you're just building soil with the wood chips. So it's still going back to the, the goodness of the land, I think. Uh, I'm hunting down them purple cucumber. Hey, man, I, I got a purple. Man, y'all, first off, look, y'all think I just be talking about this stuff, man. I really go get it. When I talk about it, I go get it. So let me see. I only got a few more Christmas pole lima beans, but I just saw that they had some on Baker Creek, so I got that. Talked about boards. Got boards. Oh, uh, the free seed. Why the free seed always? But this is what you're talking about. This is no, you're talking about the purple tomato. You actually want to put a uh, purple cucumber. But I have a red skin cucumber. You ever mm. seen that cucumber? I have not seen that before. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, and then I got the moringa. It's turning into a seed hall. Moringa. I didn't know Baker Creek had moringa. Uh, I got the bait apple cucumber shots out the hands in the dirt. And why they keep sending me these Japanese wasabi? I don't go this. And Kev, you know what? Since you talked about it, I double down on it. What's that? Dragon egg cucumber. You got two all the way down on it. And if I get two just in case, so I got two of the red skin. But Kev, you were talking about this too. Aunt Molly's ground cherries. Ground cherries, yep. Just in case they didn't come back up, big guy. Just in case. Just in case. And then I got stevia. I always suck at growing stevia, but I'm going to do better this year because I'm a better person and I'm a better gardener this year. So we're going to make it do what it do. But just to let y'all know, I don't just be talking about seed. I really do this. I have seed. And if I, a, if I bring up some, That's about as purple as I'm going to get this year on a tomato. I grew these last year. So. They green it's an atomic. Oh, it's probably great. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I got these. I, I, I dropped these today. And same thing with that. San Marzano. Okay. Oh, the San Marzano, good. I don't know why I don't grow them. I, and the black cream. That's all I, I had today. Gotta, I gotta drop those. The black cream didn't produce that much for me. Really? Yeah. I barely got any fruit up. So I I put that in the uh in the giveaway pile. Oh man. Some lucky person uh got that black cream at their house right now. <laughs> <laughs> the Virginia bush crafter in the field said, man, I found some berries in the bush. I'm taking them home with me to begin to my forest. Hey, then wild berries hit different, man. I'm yeah. telling you. Just make sure you know which ones you eat. Um uh, Bone char, oh yeah, definitely. Oh, I got that far behind again. My mother saved the ham bones and chicken bones for me, burned them in a fire, and put the ashes on the garden. Fact, do not. I'm not sure if that was correct, but it did. It sounded correct to me. Sound good to me. Yeah. You get in there. How you get it you're in there? You get wood ash and the uh, bone meal. So yeah, sound like a double win. I'm glad to hear that uh broke about the chips from the wood. Oh yeah. Uh oh, you've been you checked out the merch store. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Uh G Mama Grows uh dropped the merch down in uh, a little while ago. Appreciate that. Queen's Garden in the building. Uh ooh. you are uh, you with solid paste across the sushi. Oh yeah, no, nah, I can't. That's too hot for me, even on the sushi. Uh, I love to say seeds in my freezer. Yeah, I put, <laughs> I save my seeds in my wine cooler. They get down to 32 degrees. Uh, my queen of the night tomato just, what? Queen of the night? Man. That's science six. Yeah, oh yeah, man. Come on, man. Night? Can you imagine that on a bologna salad? <laughs> <laughs> wow. feel, feel like I'm cheating if I eat that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. Now yeah. look, this is the most important thing to grow in 2024 in your garden. 
And I need everybody in the comments, 111 of y'all. God, I'm so country. 111 of y'all <laughs> to let me know y'all ready by putting go. Y'all put go in now. I'm going to put it in. This is the most important thing you will ever grow in 2024. Ever, ever? Ever, ever, ever. Man. Yeah. I need I need y'all let me know when to go. The uh this this I'm telling you. I'm even go. Oh, somebody just sent me a link to uh a Bella Georgia piece. Okay. Uh oh. Don't threaten me with a good time. I might go get it. Uh oh. Now, Cam, everybody say they're ready. Like, they saying they saying go. Moringa. It's stunning for me. Needs more uh, sun. Florida no longer sunny due to the winds and the airplanes. Oh man! Ah. Florida get back there. Oh, everybody ready? Oh, everybody ready? Everybody? Everybody? All right. This is the most important thing to plant in 2024. You might want to start screen recording this so you will remember me saying this. You ready, Kale? I'm ready. All right. I, I got to read this one really slow. Whatever the hell you want to grow in your garden. <laughs> Look at man. Forget what I'm talking about. Even forget what Calvin talking about. <laughs> right. At the end of the day, whatever the hell you want to plant in your God darn spring garden, yeah. plant that. I don't, yeah. get, I don't care if you got Jamaican uh whole uh plums you want to grow, grow them. Whatever the hell you want to grow, stop letting people tell you what to grow in your goddamn yard. I don't yeah. care if they live next door to you; they don't have rain over your garden, and they have microclimate. So your next door neighbor yard ain't like yours. So stop letting people tell you what to grow. Grow whatever the hell you want to grow and be happy doing it. If it die, that's your garden. You ain't got to explain that to nobody. You don't say I ain't got to explain it to me. No, Calvin don't care. Calvin would cut trees up like it ain't nothing. Yes, no, sir. he ain't got no heart. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, I mean, it was a cool list. I thought it was cool that I came up with. But at the end of the day, that is your garden. You are the master of your garden. Nobody tells you what to do in your garden. They give you the give you an advice, give you advice, and you can use it or not use it because that is your place. That is where you pay bills. At. Don't get caught up in people saying, "Well, I should grow this. I shouldn't grow this in my zone." Shut up! Right. Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! I bought papayas. Now, granted, they both dead. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say that first. They both did. They out of him. Yes, they out of him. But it was thirteen dollars, Cal. Oh, you gotta oh, try it. You gotta try it. They told me I couldn't grow Pakistan mulberry. It's in the yard. It's in the grind. You know what I mean? Yeah. They told me I couldn't grow Barbados cherry. Now, granted, that's dead too. That's that's dead too. Gone and dead. But you got your steel rocket. Barbados cherry right there behind me. You got it outside. You keep it outside. He green right there in the pot. No, that's, but the right, that's it right there. You don't bring it in the house? Yeah, I just brought it back out. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. yeah. My plan had to thug it sometime. Oh, and I saw, um, boy, Cheryl, Cheryl, the gardening artist in the building. What's up, Cheryl? Glad to see you. I see you poking out from your house. I see you poking right. out. Get out of here, you know, with one eye. Come on, now. <laughs> and you know what? This is the first place where everybody know who Aaliyah is. I know. Hey, ain't everybody that crazy? Knows who Aaliyah is. Yeah. Ain't that crazy? Oh, <laughs> uh, let me see. Seeds just want to grow. That's all they want to do. Yeah. Son, they just want to grow. That's all. Son. I mean, we, we put so much pressure on our sale. Hey, uh, I don't know if I can grow this in my zone. And y'all been sitting there listening to me this whole time. But like, oh, that's a good idea. That's man, grow what you want to grow. I, I think it was some good ideas I gave. I said, grow what you want to grow. Aunt Dale Homestead in the B. 
Bill, what's up, yeah. Bill? Yeah. Glad to have you in here. Good to see you, fam. Uh, I saw a couple comments. Uh, Queen Gar said, "I I decide what I'm going to grow, what I like to eat, and keep it moving." That, yep. That's that's a simple form. <laughs> you like cucumber? Grow cucumber. You like apple? Get an apple tree. Or somebody, or be somebody like me that just think it's cool and I want to try. Cause have I ever ate a honey berry before? Have I ever seen a honey berry? No. But I call call them on sale for fifteen dollars and I think seventeen dollars a piece. They on the way to the highest cab. Hey, they on the way. Get them. Now, have I ever ate a, a finger line before I bought the tree? No. But it was twenty bucks, Cam. Yeah. Put that in the car too. You gotta try it. I'm gonna try it. If it's cheap enough, I'm gonna get it. You gotta try it. And if you are looking for some uh fruit trees, go to Food Forest Nursery. Use uh promo code Broke Ten to get ten percent off everything. Captain, did I say everything? Yeah, I think you did. Go one more time though. Everything <laughs> on the site is ten percent off. Everything is ten percent off. Go on, use that promo code Broke Ten. Yes, uh. I they feel like it do, no. get the trees, man. Get the trees, man. It'll help the whole family, man. Make it do what it. Uh, there you go. Food by faith on the table in the building. What up, food by faith? Glad to have you in here. Good to see you. Um, uh, man, if you don't stop. Oh, oh it's already fruiting. Oh my god, man. Come and, on. And, man. If y'all are unfamiliar with the the Pakistan mulberry, Man, it has fruit that can get up to I want to say six inches, or maybe four or five. Maybe I'm tripping a little bit. But the biggest mulberry fruit it is, you know, they had a little small mulberry. These are the long ones. I've had mine for two years and haven't got fruit off. But it went through a transition because I recently put that Pakistan mulberry in the ground. Bro, I just want to eat that fruit. I just want to eat that fruit, man. That's it. If you watched my video yesterday, y'all y'all saw how I felt about that tree. I saw it. <laughs> I saw it. LGGG love in the building. Detroit nail assassin. Tips for growing food in a small apartment. Go check out some of these channels. Uh, Growing with Hudson. She's in here. Uh, G Mama Grohl, she in here. Um, matter of fact, everybody who grows in an apartment or patio garden, can you put your hands up so people know to go over there and check you out? Uh, Miss Native Cherokee said, I thought goji berries couldn't grow here, but it's very cold. They call harder to negative five degrees. I've got three goji berry plants now. Negative five. Good Lord. Negative five, but they only uh produce fruit for five years, so oh. I don't know how sustainable that is. What's up, Brampton Garden in the building? What's up, Brampton? Uh, there she go. Yellow door urban homestead in the building. Friends to the channel, awesome channel, awesome person. Hey, go check out urban. I mean, uh, yellow door urban homestead. Friend of the channel, most definitely. Good to see you. Uh, yo, Goji uh, Blooming got done. What? Can't tell me nothing. Now, no. mine, <laughs> mine uh, it ain't been out there a month yet, but it's already got green leaves on it. That goes yeah. very okay. Uh, green stalker planter might be a good investment for a patio or balcony uh, apartment grow space. Um, a couple of people putting their hands up that are balcony gardeners or small space gardeners. A couple of them are Psalm 146 Home and Garden. G Mama grows hard in the garden. Growing with Hudson, small space gardener. Riri's gardener, small space gardener. Dolores, hey Dolores, glad to have you in here. Let's see, make sure I got everybody in. You see anybody else? I don't. Yeah, my, my pads over there. 
Uh, yeah, somebody else say uh, green stock plan for small space. The thing, and I'm not a small space gardener. I, I'm not even going. I'm not going to say now. I had some ideas, but I don't know. I was just going to get some stuff off the top. All right. Now, this is what I need everybody to do. Kevin, you know we like to give them a little homework. What? What? what, what, what I'm sorry. Uh, before we go any further, so good gardening just dropped a video. Kevin, tell 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 them a little bit about the video. Video. Oh, Why man. Should go over there and check out that video. Yeah, y'all. See, I'm big into you know, broke told you earlier. I'm big into flowers, right? Um, and I'm all about pollinization. That word I struggle with. Big word. Wait a minute. Break that down. <laughs> <laughs> pollinization y'all so i like to invite all types of pollinators into my yard into my garden into my orchard just like this tree behind me y'all see all these flowers this is humming with bees i don't know if y'all can see that or not because it's so freaking sunny out here but that's what I, I dropped that that video because i added a new addition to my orchard and it don't even fruit and for me to put a fruit tree i mean a, a tree in my orchard that don't fruit it's got to have some positive benefits to it and that's Damn, the only reason is this is a spring satin plum cot that is in full bloom <laughs> i mean I'm sorry. I, I got caught up my, my bad go ahead Kel. I, I y'all see them see them bees y'all see them? i don't know if y'all can see that or not them boys working though they working out there y'all <laughs> ah. i mean a hundred percent in bloom this uh, this pear right behind him, it's but it's budding out about to bloom tomorrow, next day. Same thing with my peach over there. I told y'all about that harvester peach. It's budding out. It's already opening up. Look at this. See that? It's ridiculous. They already coming, y'all. Ain't nothing I can do to stop it. But the thing about the the, the video I just dropped is I want to invite even more pollinators in here. So I don't even want to be able to walk out in my backyard because there's so many swarms of bees <laughs> and whatever. But that's what I'm trying to look for from a fruit perspective. So that's why I dropped that new video. You'll see it. Y'all want to come on over and check out the channel. But uh, it's all about pollinization. And if I can flip this camera around, because I'm sweating out here, y'all. Hold on. Let me see how I flip this thing. Hold on, bro. Uh, camera. Nope. That ain't it. It ain't gonna flip. Oh, hammers! I don't flip this thing. I want y'all to see it, but anyway, come to the channel, <laughs> y'all check it out, and you'll see for yourselves. But right. and Dale just dropped that uh video uh link, and now after this uh, live is over, click the link or click the link and see the video, then come back. There's that pomegranate. Oh, that's a lot. Just yeah, I don't know. look at that pomegranate. That's the angel red. Man, that's ridiculous. Already? Already broke. I got to find a place for it. So it's going to live its life in a freaking pot. And here's a sneak sneak peek of the video, y'all. Ooh, sneak peek, sneak peek. Sneak peek. Right there. Why did, what, why, can I get in the camera? Why is that? Oh, right there, there it is. That's sneak peek. Ooh. But. <laughs> Ooh. I'm too but, like a big guy. Yeah, I'm just saying. <laughs> Y'all, uh, hey, we got to put work in out here. If we want these groceries or them groceries like my brother in Florida, <laughs> we got to put in work out here. So and put some flowers in your garden. I'm, I'm encouraging my brother broke. Put some flowers in your garden, man. I got a couple of them planting out there. They got to do their thing, though. You know, I'm babysit over here. Yeah, I know. They'll, they'll make it. Put you some azaleas. You're in Georgia, man. Put you some azaleas, some gardenias out there. Man. I don't know, because it's going to take away from my uh, fruit tree uh, plant space. Hello, perennials. <laughs> I'm only plant annuals out here. Oh, you only do annuals. But the bushes, you can just let it keep coming year after year. You don't have to worry about it. them annuals. You got to keep dealing with no. them. You're going to have to plant them every single year. Oh, hey, my guy came with him. First off, hold on. My guy, I, I see you down there. Oh, don't, don't go nowhere. Don't go nowhere. Are oh, you right. dropping the no, Yeah. Uh, don't go nowhere. Tamiko D, the dirty gardenista in the building. Hey, I just, I just got to holler at a few more people. Don't go nowhere though. I I, I see you lucky finna go. Don't go nowhere. And and Dale just uh drop a link to Calvin video in there. I said that. Um Sherman's family farm in the building. So no plums from it. I give you 
for your view and enjoyment. The growing together nursery, not just a guy broke farmer putting trees together in the backyard, but a certified nursery owner. What's yes, up, sir. growing together? This is a small nursery back here, man, but we're having fun. The sun is shining on us and the weather's right just for planting. So trying to get this season started early. What's going on with y'all? I live my life, man. That's, that's, it, that's it. Before yeah. before I came on live, I was in the back, man. I pulled my uh satsuma trees and my uh conquats out of the greenhouse because for the next two weeks, 40 degrees is going to be our lowest temp. So I'm going to get the sun, baby, 40. Yeah, you're good at 40, then. I'm good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's a false sense of security. You know, you got spring that's right up on us, but I'm checking the weather. Um, I don't yeah. see any cold fronts coming in, so I'm shooting for the moon, man. I'm a risk taker. I'm going to put these trees down in the ground, you know? I ain't scared. Um, it's only money, unfortunately, and to me – the, the value of, of actually um, getting the, the fruit and getting the trees is uh, way more important than 50 bucks. For me, I'd rather take the risk and, and see what happens. Um, this is the Pakistan mulberry right here. Oh, 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 let me put your big screen. Big screen. Oh, yeah, let me see that. Hold on, hold on. Big screen. Let's see if you can see that right in here. There's a little baby, a little baby one, like right there. It's just now starting. Um, haven't tasted this variety yet. I don't know if you can see that right there. It's kind of blind. Um, but I got two of them sprouting up for the first time. This tree is, uh, is all, that uh, seven, seven, seven and a half ish. And first time trying it, I spent 75 on the tree and I knew that there was the only place I've ever seen it. So I was like, well, why not? I went in Rome, you know, take the chance and, and see what happens. Say what? Neighbors' dogs are going nuts over here. They're fighting. Can't hear you. Can see that right there. Say it again. Somebody got the TV on. Yeah, feedback. Seven, seven, seven. Can y'all hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know. I was getting some feedback. I had the neighbors' dogs over here fighting, so I had to take off from there. But yeah. Um. Putting a bunch okay. of stuff in. I'll make a new video here of the but, new lane that I'm working over here. But um, I got a second. I can show you guys some some mulberries. This is a. Uh, hey, hold on, hold on. Before we leave the mulberry, look, look, look. Now, my Pakistan mulberry have very big leaves. Now, the one you were looking at, was that Pakistan variety or was that Shangri-La? Um, I do have both, but this one was the Pakistan. And the Pakistan leaves are, I don't know, maybe three and a half inches. Let me show you again. How are leaves so big? Yours? Yeah. You may have Shangri-La. Shangri-La has like oh. three, seven, seven, eight inch leaves. I'll show you the difference. Oh. Although I don't have any that are full bloom. Like this is, they may get a little bit bigger than that, but not by much. I mean, this may be one of my more mature ones there, but still pretty small compared to the Shangri-La, which... Let me see if I got. <clears throat> see if I got my hurt. Right? Gina, why are you folding your arm? What's up, bro? <laughs> hey, hey, hey Miss Hudson, how are you? Yeah, I'm great. Well, you because I'm sick of everybody who in a zone warm, warmer than me. <laughs> well, I know the rest of the country is uh, going through some <laughs> snowy times, and I'm over here, you know, hanging out with my mulberries. Um, but you know, it is the perks of living down here in Florida. A lot of people trash us, but, you know, we can grow a lot of stuff um, earlier than the rest of the, the country. I'm never leaving. I'm a Florida boy at heart. I love, be, <laughs> I love to be surrounded by the water. I just don't like the hurricanes, you know. But, mm -hmm. you know, I'll take – you got to take a little bit of both, you know. But, now, now, wait a minute. Now, G, GT. All right. So, I got to Google how big the Shangri-La fruit get. Because about, when I saw your video and you were saying that was a Pakistan – I said, uh oh, I don't have that. Cause my leaves are big, bigger than my hands. Yeah, and I went by large you got saying a lot, And that's a big issue with a lot of nurseries is that they will mislabel um some of their stuff. This is the Shangri La right here. Oh, that's what I got. Yeah. That's what yeah, I got. Which hey, it ain't a bad and it's not a bad berry. It's still pretty, pretty good size and, and actually pretty sweet. Um, sweeter than the dwarf tie. Um, but this is Shangri La here. 
I got to get the facts, man. Um, I could, uh, could send you a grafted tree, but, you know, it will take me a little bit of time because they say they grow from cuttings, and I know people that have done it, but I haven't been successful with it. Um, other varieties are a little bit easier, but to me, I, I'd rather graft it. That way you're, I'm 100% sure that you're getting that. Um, yeah, because why the same not here, why not just put a cocktail bread. tree, though? I mean, this thing, I don't know if y'all can see that, but mm -hmm. thing is. Yeah, we see it. Loaded. That's every the, single branch. Just understand. Every single, every single branch is just loaded with fruit. <laughs> this is the. Know it. This is the dwarf Thai mulberry. This is the one that you got to have. Now, flavor-wise, it is good. It's sweet. Um, it's not like, oh, my gosh, you're going to call everyone and tell them about it. But as far as production goes, this is the workhorse. This is the one that say will feed you for again. This is the dwarf Thai mulberry. Thai. And every, yeah, dwarf Thai. Pete Canaris from Green Dreams was the first one who uh, put me on to it. But then I found it over here from a local nursery. So I figured, why not? But... Yeah, it should be rocking and rolling over here shortly. Everything looked nice and healthy. It does. Yeah, I mean, this time last year, everything was looking brown. We got a really bad freeze in um, January of 23. Luckily, this year, we only got down to like 33 degrees, so um, everything stayed up pretty good. Yeah. Um, um, Gina, so when last time it snowed? <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, yesterday. <laughs> These are all Suriname cherry blossoms. I don't know if y'all can see okay. those. Yes. Suriname cherries. Some people love them. You know, I, I dig them. You know, a lot of people think that they have a more of like a resinous flavor, but I'm a fan of all kinds of fruit. So to me, more than Mary, I like complex flavors. Cherry mango mm -hmm. right here is about to give us some this year, hopefully. I um, and when you get, I, I know it's one that's coming on the horizon because I know they, they stated, you know, producing new uh, varieties of mango. Once you find that mango that can make it down to, to 30 degrees, I want it. I wish. Right. I wish. No None of them drop down to that. What, that. what that entails, bro, is you growing it in a greenhouse, in a structure, um, and keeping it at a level that's manageable for you, uh, whether that's six, eight, nine feet, you can prune it, you can keep them small. This is um, a Venus mango. Um, you may have to prune it heavily, but you still can fruit it um, in a greenhouse. And I mean, um, Orlando Gardner just came out with a video with a guy up there in Georgia um, who was growing them in a greenhouse with large water tanks. That was his hack behind it. I'm sure you can come up with something um, but it is possible. Now, coming up with new varieties, what I'm doing is, bring it down some. I'm coming up with um, new varieties here. So this is the seed that I planted. It's a seedling, a mango. Can y'all hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this is a mango seedling that I that I um, planted out last year. I tasted this juicy peach, an excellent, um, excellent flavor mango, juicy peach. So what I'm doing now um, is when you plant the seed, you won't get a mango for like seven to 10 years. So mm. to speed that up, I'm grafting it onto itself. So then that way I can get the, I can taste the fruit within three years. So half the amount of time, find out if it's yay or nay, you know? So I'm I'm calling this graft the return to sender graft. Um, I was told that it was an auto or a self graft. And yeah, it's a whack name. So I figured give it something else that, you know, sounds a little bit better because it is basically getting grafted onto itself. So return to sender sounds better for me. But we'll be finding out to see when these pop and when these get going. But that's the idea is to come up with new hybrids, new varieties, and get them out there so people can taste them. Because there's way more than what we're getting at the store, man. We've been right. lied to, y'all. <laughs> but, but if, if, if I live in Florida, how, how can I get to your nursery? Man, what do you know? You hit that Google machine, man, and you'll find me. Growing Together Nursery. I'm at uh, 215 North Sparkman. Avenue in Orange City, Florida. Come on by. Hours are um, open to the public Thursday, Friday, and Sunday. Wednesdays and Saturdays are market days, so I'm always hustling. Um, but yeah, you can hit me up Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, what have you. You got to be everywhere these days. But we'll be eating some mangoes this year. You know, I was told I wasn't able gonna do. I wasn't gonna be able to flower these and grow mangoes here in Orange City. But I pushed the zone, man. You know. I'd rather kill this guy in a couple of years. 
see you what? closing mouth. I see your little <laughs> mouth. Open. No, now listen, we got attack dogs, dogs, we got security guards, we got everyone watching this place. We got attack bees now. All right. So don't be playing around. Don't come over That's here. That's why no I'm bees. not covering Florida. Y'all got too many bugs for me. I, I can't do it. But I like mangoes. <laughs> oh yeah. Look, um Ron Together Nurture has a, a YouTube channel. Go check out his YouTube channel. He has a website, Growing Together Nursery LLC, and he is also on the Instagram on the all the same handle. So go over there, check it out, and uh, check out a Fruit Flex Friday. Yeah, every Friday he he Fruit Flex on y'all. Now y'all know me. Wait, 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 wait. What oh, you got? Whoop, 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 whoop. Little variegation for you. A little L A P I L. Calicacia. What's that? I said, do you got a meanwhile conquat? I do. I do. Let me show you this guy. This thing is about to go nuts. I'm about to harvest this guy. Oh. Yeah. But whoa, whoa, not for sale. Sorry, not for sale. Um, mm. I sold those and mine. I had to go out and buy a 10 gallon um, in order for me to replace the one that I just moved because you're right. Them damn things are good, man. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm waiting on man to. Uh, Ripen up. They take a long time. You weren't lying. I was like, man, I'm ready to sell this thing. But once I tasted it, I was like, I need one. So I sold it. I, this, I mean, it's yeah. Um, it's obviously. loaded. What's that? It's loaded. Loaded. Yeah. But I, I, I just wish that this was more organic. I, I can't say that this is organically uh, produced. This came with a ton of fertilizer which i don't like um i don't spray um i don't use any pesticides over here no fun fungicides no copper sulfur none of that stuff i'm eating this stuff if i want that stuff i go to the store and go buy that fake food but that's why they're big that's why they're huge my last tree was producing them way smaller than this this one just has unfortunately it's got fertilizers in them um what i'll do is later on take them out um take out a lot of this soil and put in some organic soil some potting soil that i just got in but i do want to go ahead and get rid of these nitrogen pellets I'm not a big fan of them. um again they they put them in the in the pots for the nur nur nursery industry um just because you can get a bigger faster stronger tree but to me i'd rather slowly work it and use organic fertilizer organic soil something that we're gonna um, ingest later on because i've seen a couple of videos and people are saying how the pesticides don't affect the, the flavor of the fruit or nor does Roundup or any of this stuff. And it's like, it's all connected. If you spray the tree, once it rains, it drops down, goes into the soil. Where does all the nutrients come from? You know, it's all the soil. You got to protect that. So that's just what mine is like this. And I got three kumquats on it. So I can't wait to uh, I, taste it. I, I, uh, I, Gina, I eat two kumquats today. <laughs> you know, when I say they were delicious, I almost I've heard did. your description of kumquats. I've I've heard it. What what what, what is it? Then? <laughs> you know, what is it's it? it's similar to your description. What would you describe it earlier? The ground cherry. The no, ground cherry is similar to that. It's been kissed <laughs> by God. <laughs> yeah, no, ground cherries are They're just involved. <laughs> But the, the conquest, God Himself put His finger on the fruit and then kissed it and put it back on the tree. That's what conquest tastes like. Oh man! <laughs> Here's what y'all need to get right here: is this uh, three-in-one mulberry right here? So I don't know if y'all can see the fruit on there, but it's yeah. got two mulberries there. Oh, man. Man. oh there! So What's it's three varieties on one tree: uh, Pakistan dwarf. High and then the dwarf ever bearing on the top. Um, I figure for a clean bill, it's a good price. Three different varieties. You save the I was room. Just about to say, let's go floss, ain't it? Yeah. Right, so, and what's the address again? <laughs> Y'all ain't sending them boys, are you? <laughs> I, I want to send everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, this, this is our community. If you I send hear you. Trees and we can get to you. We want them fruit trees. If you got, if you sell, if anybody sells seeds, we want them seeds. We we gonna take care of our own community. 
David you Corey, how much is that tree going we for? Got the four the three huh? and one. The hundred bucks. Hundred bucks for the three and one. Yeah. Um, I don't want to ship just yet on that one, just because I'm still watching it. I'd rather have. I try to do a lot of pickup. I'm not shipping just yet, just because that's a whole nother rigmarole. Um, you got to have all the boxes and then insurance of you know I didn't receive the tree or whatnot. So it does. Kind of. Yeah, I'm kind of taking it slow into the whole shipping game, you know. Yep. But. Hey, but uh, as long as you have a nurse, hey, hey, come here. I don't want nobody else to hear it. Hey, <laughs> come in a little bit. Now, that Pakistan mulberry you got, if you if you want to ship them, dummy, I'll be your I got you. I got yeah, you. I'll be your huckleberry. A little, little cutting, right? Just a little piece. Just a little, I just want to get a little taste. I just need a little taste. <laughs> yeah, just a little taste. <laughs> and that, or if you come across a, a champagne loquat. That's on the list for someone else. I can't find those right now. Um, the places that I'm talking to don't have those. Um, I'm looking down South Florida and everyone around here. Um, but once I get some, though, I know that I can I can move them for sure because I've never had one. But supposedly they have a, a cult following from what it seems. Yes. And look, David Core want one. I want one. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure we can get out about five of them in the uh, community. Nice, nice. Got a, little, uh, a feedback. Yeah, I now, heard it too. Now, uh, we were talking about small space gardening a little bit. Is that me? That's you? That's her? That's we? We were talking about small space gardening. Earlier. I'm going to mute myself to see if it's me. Somebody else on the line over there. I, so, we were talking. Yeah, that was because. We were talking about a small space gardening early. No, everybody muted. We can't tell you now. Come back up, Hudson. Unmute. Now, you can tell. No. That might not be you. Gina, unmute. Kevin, unmute. Now, we were talking about small space gardening earlier. And growing with Hudson was one of those small space gardeners that grow abundantly in a patio space. So to put a face with a name, this is wrong with Hudson. She's a little low in the camera, but that is her. You can do it. <laughs> I'm trying to show you something. Oh, what's up? So that's what I wanted to show everybody. Um, you know, I'm in an apartment, but like my little greenhouse. If you can see it, it's like a like a closet size and it's in the corner of my living room and I have grow lights in there. But I tried to go on my phone. Let me see. Let me get up. So y'all can see what I got in there. Hey, Grand Acres. Glad to have you in here. So in here, can y'all see it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I got my five figs and they they leaving out. And uh, my shampoo ginger is doing good. Ooh, a pineapple. There you go. I have my lemon trees uh, during the, the winter. I just took them back outside because they could they could take like 30, not, not for a long time, but they could take it. And this is my little, uh, what do you call it? It's like my little working area. But I was up potting while you was on live. Well, them look a cup. I know what those look like. I'm trying to get you to see the plant. I'm going to pop my peppers. <laughs> them are, them, oh. Oh, that looks nice. I just dropped my pepper seeds oh. last night. I nice. got this loofah. Um, Wait, now you know how to bring the camera close. I was going to say, bring it I'm back. To see. There you go. Oh, there you go. My loofah, I'm up hiding. And here go my ground cherries y'all was talking about. I'm doing it for the WIG uh, grow off. I just got to find the camera. You're going to trellis oh. those uh, loofahs, though? Because they get pretty large, no? Well, um, I can't even tell you the length of my patio. But I got little hooks that I put down on there. Um, I'm going to start it from one side. And just as it grow, hook it on those hooks around my patio. Oh, cool. There you go. Yeah. So I got. They say uh, that they're edible if you get them like uh, pretty young, from what I hear, but I've never tried them. Oh, yeah. I've heard that. I wouldn't try it. My little tomatoes. <laughs> so you, you can do it in a small space. It's just 
if you determine or not. Here go my little moringa for the first time. This is the father I side of the little moringa. There you that go. Moringa is great and a bite. That's bigger than this guy right there. <laughs> One out of like 12 sprouted, you know? Yeah. Right, that that oh. moringa is hit or miss. You was talking about lemongrass too. Uh I got it in water, rooting it out. God, I, I purchased the lemongrass from the grocery store because it's easier to me than the seed. Yeah, and I know. love lemongrass tea. Oh, I'm sorry. Good for God, you. My bad. Look, cousin. I'm uh, listening to you. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm doing something weird. Okay, there we go. I'm sorry. My bad. Uh, and, oh, you, see, why you ain't saying that? Oh, now you doing? Because I was, <laughs> I was uh showing you how to. I was what sort of a bulb you got on there? I mean, how many watts you running to to power that joint? Don't give me the line. I just know it's a uh, <laughs> it's a Vivasan like, uh, it <laughs> grow line. That's awesome. No, that's that's fine. I haven't done any inside growing yet, but. Um, I, I was thinking about venturing into microgreens down the road because it's profitable and why not, you know? But maybe down oh, the road, I get tired of playing out outside, you know? All right, but look, now this. Now, look, you could use oh, this too. Uh, What's that? Go ahead, go ahead. Show and tell. Oh, go ahead. I use this uh, at the top. I have my uh, ginger, turmeric, and. Uh, sugar cane is uh, rooting with the paper towel method. Cool. So I don't have to take up no more space. I just put it on top of this greenhouse. Nice. Sugar cane will get going. Oh, yeah. I, now, we were talking about the much talking about galaxy tomato. And it's not going to show up, but it's literally. Oh, we cool. see it. Purple. Oh, it's purple. But that's, baby. You know, that's a dark right. galaxy, not purple galaxy, correct? Dark galaxy. I think those are two different types, though, because I think the under Baker Creek it was it was advertised as the purple galaxy. Could but be I, wrong. And then there was an issue with I guess the company was Norfolk. I don't know. I saw a little video. Don't take my word I, for it. But no, you. I don't from know. What I heard you. You're 100 right. But I feel like they disrespected all dark purple tomatoes. So I had to I had to bring mine up because I felt like they were talking about his cousin. So I had to bring him up to defend his cousin. So this is the dark galaxy tomato. Look at this. Okay. This is what I got to deal with right here. <laughs> Do you see that? This is my freaking problem right here. And then I wonder why my seeds don't germinate, right? Oh, you man. A video too. Come on, come on. This is why I'm not. It's not. I'm not a big fan of cats, but you know, you gotta have them for the rodents. They say, but then they destroy stuff as well in the making. So, you know, and then, we're talking about what we're growing. Gina, let me make you. Let me put you on the big screen. What you growing, Gina? Oh, come on. <laughs> this thing is full. I literally just right put a tray full of peppers in there last night. Down the heat mat. Oh, somebody else in here. I'm sorry. Oh, that's Cam. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so those, those heat mats, I've never used one of those. Are those like yeah, set my, up with timers or are they like constantly on? No, I turn it on when I want it to be on. My my dang on basils are getting too big, but they, I can't take them outside yet. Right. It's so too cold. I've never so used a I just either. turn it like, I, these are, it has a grow life on each shelf, a grow light on each shelf. So I just flick them on at night what? and I let them run all night and then I turn them off in the morning. When the seed germinate, do you keep the heat mat on? No. I do. But for just my to get them going? I just do it to get them going. Should huh. I keep it on? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it's necessary after that point. I, I think it's just to sprout them, but I don't know. I've never messed with them. I thought it was just to get them going. That's the only thing I put on a heat mat, the peppers, because peppers give me a hard time. Germinating. I have more success getting celery to germinate than I do with peppers. 
Yeah, Calvin, sure. you were saying the same thing, right? Huh? You couldn't get yeah. them going? Couldn't Man, get them to yeah. germinate? I'm going to be a Bonnie's fanatic when it comes to oh. selling. Oh. I'm going to tell you right now, oh, I, cannot grow it. I, can't, I can't do it, oh, y'all. But you fun. missed out on the good varieties, though, man. The special oh. varieties that only you can get if you grow. Right. That's, That's, all, celery. Celery. That's all celery. Hey, look. Can I? Oh, I, was I, got, to turn to I see it. I see it. I just, hey, I give you the crown. Call, call. That's that's all that came up so far. Is the I I want to go grab my whole tray. What's stopping me, bro? What's stopping me, bro? Nothing. Now, Look, what I do, I showed y'all what I do when I did the video. I put the dome thing over it until it germinates. I don't put this on heat. Right. I just make sure it's moist. And I don't let any air flow. It kind of keeps all that condensation in there. And once they germinate, I take it off. God. Yeah. Orange you spice, uh, pumpkin spice, go. lemon spice. I got uh, jigsaw that's working. Um, also called Calypso. And then uh, Alice's dream tomato. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. And then, that's so good. Dream tomato. I ain't heard of that one. Right. Uh, Baker, yeah. And then this one is... Queen of the night tomato here. It's like a purple. Did you like say something about orange. that, bro? No, I said something when he said something about it. <laughs> yeah, the queen of the night. And then indigo blue chocolate here, green zebra, and then some gigante inverno spinach Ooh. and some red mustard there. I'm just look, Mr. Brown and seeing what mm. I got something for you. What's up? Now you showing fruit trees. This is a Thomas Bill Citrain. I know you know what that is. Yeah, I've heard this, you talk about it. This first fruit, cold hearty, cold hearty to zero degrees, first fruit in Thomas Bill, Georgia. I have two of them. But it, what's the flavor like, though? You know what I mean? I don't care. I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't but care. it's a lemon or it's an orange, though? It's an orange. <laughs> What's what do you got, got to lose, man? Yeah, grow it, try it. No, it's it got it's a mix with trifoliate, so it's more of a sour orange. Uh, well, juice is fine. Juice yeah. is fine. Add it, with, you know, add a little honey to it. I gotta grab this external battery real quick. My phone's about to die. And this is a yellow long neck pig. You know, a yellow long neck what pig? You Long just kind of picked you up to now. A lot. I know. A lot. I know. Hey, I'm going to get to a point where growing together nursery will call me and ask me what I got. <laughs> like, David, I got, four, I got three or four basil plants that big in that in there. You ain't getting one of them. I told you I'm trying to dry my herbs this year. I just feel show and tell. I'm all about show and tell, man, especially in this garden community. <laughs> Now look, help each other we, out. We we finna get out of here, but before we go, yellow long neck sucker. <laughs> right, but before we get out of here, I would like y'all to go over and check out Wrong with Hudson. Check out Gina versus Gina. Check out So Good Garden. Check out Going Together Nursery. And this is how we're gonna do. It. And to everybody who's in the comments, find one YouTube channel. You go over there before you watch the video. You hit the like button. You watch the whole video. No skips. Don't be a skip. Oh, wait, hold right there. We're gonna come back to you. Hold right there. No skips. And if you like it, subscribe. If if it's not for you, just pass on. Leave a comment. Say a nice video. All you got to do. But find somebody in in the chat and connect. Connect because you only learn from other people in this gardening thing. You can read books, eh. but experience is king when it comes to gardening and growing fruit trees. The more people you surround yourself with when it comes to fruit trees, like Kevin and me, growing together nursery, the more. Don't follow me. Don't follow me. I'm just screwing <laughs> up and having fun, man. <laughs> That's what so we're trying to do. So are we. <laughs> I'm learning from my mistakes oh, every day, man. You know, so I'm doing we? stuff that people people cringe at what I'm doing sometimes, you know, but I'm, I'm trying to prove a point out here. You <laughs> don't like it, man. It don't the last matter. Video you had with graphing, I ordered a whole graphic machine. 
I have one of those. Send it back. I already <laughs> did. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I got one, and honestly, I, I'll give it away, man. Honestly, if you want to learn with it, you can have it. To me, you got single blade. You learn from your mistakes, man, you know? Yeah. Now, Teague is saying the Thomasville Citrine, Citra Quat, Citrine Quat tastes like a Kong Quat. It's mixed with trifoliate, Kong Quat, and something else. But that's my dream to put citrus in the ground. That's why it's so important to me. But look, we're gonna get out of here. Does anybody have anything to say? Uh, yeah, anybody going well, live, live tonight? I'm sorry. Go ahead, Hook. Go ahead, Gina first. Gina first. I just I wanted to say um, because I saw a lot of names I'm not familiar with today in the um chat. If they're a content creator, can okay. they just put a thumbs up emoji so we know who we can go check out that we have we're not familiar with? Look at you with the big brain. Look at you with the big brain. You just got a big brain. Yes, you do. Hey, you do. <laughs> so, like Gina said, put your hand up if you're a content creator. Let people know, hey, I make content. Yeah. Yeah. And that includes everybody in the panel. Well, I think they know you make content. But... Well, they've been dropping our um our link. Thank you, oh, y'all. Before we get out of here, uh, shots out to the Mod Squad. And if you wonder why these lives go so smooth and they're so fun, it's because of the Mars squad. Uh, growing with Hudson, top right hand is a Mars. G Mama grows hard in the garden, the number one moderator on YouTube. Number one. David Cole with the Chris out, great moderator, keeps everything together. And they are homestead, been moderator, been taking care of business. The everyday life of an OCD is chick. Um, GT Junior Groves of Alaska was uh in here. He's also a moderator. Um, who else? Uh, Gina versus Gina is a moderator. He right. been trying to blame me, y'all. He been trying to blame me. Yeah. But, he said, "Oh yeah, Gina oh. versus Gina, <laughs> also moderator." But first off, uh, and I always go check out the moderators because the moderators do so much for our community, making sure no trolls get in here. Just make it a fun environment where we sit back and we have. Conversations like this without anybody bothering or making it hard. So, shout out to them. Um, Don't forget about me. She, he said you. I said you. No, I had, I had something oh. to say. I'll let you go. Oh. <laughs> so, I don't know because we were talking in a conversation. Uh, but shout out to uh, Homestead Rachel Super Chat. I'm not sure if you caught that earlier. No, I didn't miss it. Thank you for the support. And don't forget to hit that like button because it's in the algorithm. It makes the algorithm better. So that's important, y'all. I don't know why people have a problem with hitting the like button, but it's just a way to support without giving money or nothing. So just... It's 114. Y'all have a blessed day. And... Thanks for having me, bro. You, you have a good day, Cal. Good to see you, Hud. Wait, wait, wait. Don't go nowhere. Wait, wait. Oh. No, wait, wait, wait. Everybody got to, don't have a chance to, to say a spill at the end. Okay. You don't want to do that. Yeah. All right, Mark. You back there, Cal. You ain't ready yet. You ain't ready. G, growing together, nurses. GT, anything you got for the people before we get out of here? I appreciate your time. Appreciate you having me on. Um, always a good time. I'm still learning the ropes over here and uh, having fun doing it. You know, to me, it's this. This can be your year. This can be my year. You know, put some stuff in the ground. Start getting some stuff going because you don't know what this year can bring. You know what I mean? I don't uh, push that type of stuff, but you know, you got to be ready. And I don't care if it's one bean. Hey, that can turn into you know seven thousand. So. Put something in the right. earth. You don't know uh, what tomorrow brings, but you know, learn a little bit more. Hit the YouTube University if you have to. There's free stuff. There's other people that are out there willing to teach you, man. You know, and it took me a little bit, but I learned for free, and now I'm giving it back for free. So if you can learn a little bit from me, then cool. You know, if not, you know, just drop a comment and a like, and keep it moving. Thank you, though. And well said. And keep it moving. All right. Try people out. Kevin, okay, you ready now? Yes, sir. Let's do it, man. Okay, my bad. My bad. I, I can't. I hit you too quick. It's all good. Just remember, they always say what? The best time to plant a fruit tree was 10, 15 years ago. Same right. time was yesterday. Quit wasting these days, man. Y'all get some trees in the ground, get some fruit, 
grow them for you, for your family, grow them in pots, grow them in a bucket, grow it wherever you got to grow it. Amen. Food and quit playing around here. Don't make excuses. Make it happen. All right. Amen. That's all. That's all I got for you. That's all you got. We got. Look, That's it. Can I can add I one thing? Little... Please it's do. Fine. I just wanted to add because I, I it's been stuck in my head since it was said. When growing together said pushing, he pushes his grow zone. Y'all push y'all grow zone. Don't let the people tell you based on your grow zone, this is what you grow. Push the grow, the grow zone. Well, it's the gamble. Limit. I mean, you'll spend 50 bucks on going out to eat, you know, but you won't spend 50 on a tree when it lasts you five years. It's like, to I me, will. I'd rather have that fresh fruit at my ready. There's nothing that gets me excited, you know, excited to jump out of bed and go check a tree than knowing that it's actually about to, you know, finally be able to, I'm, I'm going to be to be able to eat it for the first time. You know what I mean? That first experience. And when you give that to someone, it's like, you know, so yeah, definitely push your zone. Don't be afraid, man. It's just money. It'll come back. Right. Your wealth is your health. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all remember that salt and pepper song? I oh, remember that song. Yes, sir. <laughs> With the oh, earrings and everything. Come on, now. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But look, first off, I want to thank everybody who came to the live. It was a very enjoyable live. It wasn't about me. It was about the community like it always was. We talk about situations. We meet new great people in the live. And we just have a, a all right. Hold on. Is that? Yeah, that's probably you. Uh uh, that's you. Oh, it was it me? No, it wasn't me. But anyway, but it's, it, it was a great Sunday as always. And then, shout out to my guest that came up. Shout out to the co host, Mr. So Good Gardener. And appreciate uh, all y'all that came up to make it more enjoyable because gardening is nothing but show and tell. I don't know if you know this. We love to see what you got. I want to see the fruit trees. I want to see what's under y'all grow lights. And I think everybody feel like that. So thank y'all for making this live way more enjoyable. Thank you to everybody in the comment section that put comments in. And one scared to say I agree with this or I don't agree with that. It makes it more fun. I mean, we got, we got to be honest to grow. You know what I mean? I don't know everything. You don't know everything. But together we know everything. Or it's, close, it's closer when we stick together with this whole situation. So I want y'all to enjoy y'all week. And if you're having a rough day, just sit back and just say, screw it, man. I'm going to be in the garden tomorrow anyway. You know what I mean? Think about it in them terms. But um, I, um, ah. Oh. And when you get a minute, normalize gardening. It's the motto for 2024, normalize gardening and growing a fruit tree because it's what's going to change the earth, whether you bleed that or not. Um, y'all enjoy y'all day. I got I to gotta close my green high, growing together nursery. I got my Sassumas out there, but I still got, I got some of my Fukushu, uh come across my eye chain. Um, I, I, I got to close the green house. All right, look, man, I'm going to holler at y'all, man. I got to go, man. I got to take care of this. Garden. Exactly. <laughs>